pants on, but the pants aren't there. <laughs> Wait, there they are. There's my pants. <laughs> are as followed as as follows the official J chili drink uh, two ounces of Irish whiskey juice of one lemon one ounce triple uh, one ounce triple sec 0 0.5 ounce chocolate liqueur one third ounce maple syrup dash oh that I'm sorry one third ounce of maple sh syrup dash of hot sauce shake with ice then remove ice and shake again with one egg white. So that is the official J Chili uh, mixed adult drink, courtesy of the wonderful Ghost Pepper. Oopsie poopsie, the train go whoopsie. <laughs> oh no, Sleepy! Sleepy, let me just let please i i need i need in your own words <laughs> what is happening in this picture <laughs> please sleepy <laughs> no i can't zoe i can't punch things while i'm carrying you i'm gonna need you to contribute this is like when lily and i play resident evil 6 and uh and she carries me Nobody told tell her I said that. <laughs> this feels like a good time for banjo music. This feels like a good time for banjo. Sir! Sir! If you aren't washing your grommets properly, it's gonna get real dirty. I mean, it might get real dirty while you're washing your grommets, if you know what I mean. You know, if you know where I'm coming from, it's gonna get real dirty. Hit. Yeah. Well, the other two are coming. This is where things get sticky. And not, not the good kind of sticky, like a cinnamon bun. I didn't know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe now, Andrew, the shoe is on the other foot, and I am, I am the father. <laughs> I am the father. <laughs> I don't know why I can't keep my big cock up. <laughs> May. What about what about that that beastly dildo? <laughs> Did I ever think the day would come when I would be on on camera and I would speak the words beastly dildo? Thousand followers. I rap to banjo music. Listen, I've made, I've made promises in the past, and been like, yeah, yeah, we're never, we're never gonna get to 100 followers, so I'll never have to do a freestyle rap. But you know what? I'm, I'm confident that it's gonna be a very long time before we get to 1,000 followers. So I will, I will agree to this, man. I will agree to this. That I'm playing. Wait, I'm not agreeing to that part. I have no idea how hard it is to learn how to play the banjo. I'll agree to to rap. I'm sorry. I, I, I say this a lot, but I'm I'm very sorry for what's about to happen. What's what's about to to be all your eye holes? But um, here you go. Oh no! <laughs> 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 so 
See, this is this is where the real PS5 graphics come in. Do, do you see? Do you see that booty wiggle when I smack that booty? Do you see that wiggle? That's this is what the PS5. Oh, I'm dead. This is what the PS5 is all about. That booty wiggle. Then you'd best leave the city. Sloth is the broth that holds us all together. Like the cheese in an enchilada. <laughs> Ghost pepper is beyond compare. Will this compliment make him despair? Or will he stay as calm as Caillou? This doesn't even rhyme. I don't know what I'm doing, chat. I'm trying to look at the camera. Although my eyes are immediately like, I don't want people to, to acknowledge me. And also, I know you want to clip this, so I don't know why I'm talking in the middle of the rap. While well, Kali and Vinyl are... God, what rhymes with Kali and Vinyl? Or either, either or. Are, are all but vital. And without them, you might as well... Spire? I don't know what rhymes with all these things. I wanted to do a rap that like tied into everybody. Now I have a chair that... In a roll. Oh no, this looks like a bot. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, oh, no. Did you see that? No, 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 no. Lily, did you see that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no. Oh no, even the small one. Oh, come on. I'm gonna throw a rock at him. It didn't give a shit. Hey, bud. I could try to figure out what that cool sound clip was. I was like, what is happening? I hope there's buns. You gotta have those buns. Yeah, you just gotta have those buns. buns. <laughs> I mean, anything could be a bathroom if you try hard, hard enough sleep. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Kylie. I'm pretty sure we- Whoa! Hey, everybody! This is crazy! Two raids before I've even- I've even started! How's everyone doing? Aelia, thank you so much for that raid! And also, God, Crucix, thank you so much for that raid! How's everybody doing? Welcome on in to day five. Day five of Spooktober. Which we're going to be playing some more spooky games. We're going to be jumping back into Silent Hill 2. But for everyone that just popped on in with the raid, Zian Axiv? Zian Axiv? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome on in. And Aelia, thank you so much again for the raid. How are you doing? Welcome on, on in. We got Big Bird Big Daddy. Oh, no, it's Big... Yeah, Big Bird Big Daddy. I love that name. That name is fantastic. I freaking love that name. How are you doing, my friend? <gasps> and Lily's here. Lily! Is that the spider clip you're referring to as your favorite clip? Kick Me Papa. Well, that's another solid name. We've got a lot of really solid names in the chat. Kick Me Papa, how are you doing? I love that emo. Oh, that's one of... That's one of God Crucix emotes. I've never seen that one before. Oh... Silky Bun Bun, welcome on in. Thank you so much for popping on by. Well, we the quacking. I, that's, you know what? Out of all the names that I love, and I love to see, that is that is up there too. There's some solid names in the chat tonight. Well, we the quacking, how you doing? God, Crew Six, how are you, my friend? That's right, two raids. I was blown, I'm, I'm getting stuff ready, and I'm like, what? Why do I, why do I keep hearing notifications going off? <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate the raids. Thank you. Silent Hill 2. Oh, I... So, I... I My favorite Silent Hill is the third one, personally. But I know Silent Hill 2 is the fan favorite. I like both of them. 
I don't I don't think there's a thing well until we get to the later Silent Hills when they started to kind of downward spike um, that was when things started going south for Silent mm, Hill but the classic chilly, games huh? the classic games are all really solid Big Bird Big Daddy thank you so much for that follow once again I love that name that name is freaking fantastic <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was so this is where we started Silent Hill 2 on Friday for day one of Spooktober um, and I, I had the running joke the whole time that the pyramid head was our, our burly pyramid headed boyfriend and that our goal was to, to hook up with pyramid head um, so I've just you know I've just leaned into it I'm just gonna lean right into it <laughs> I'm doing fantastic, Aelia. Thank you so much for asking. I promise eventually we're going to get to the game, but I want to get through all of chat first because I very much appreciate everyone being here. Oh, Big Bird, Big Daddy. I'm really happy to hear that. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. That's fantastic. Just call him Zai. Okay. All right. You got it. Zai it is. Smoke Finesse. Thank you so much for that work. I really appreciate it, my friend. Thought I'd rate the start before things go downhill. <laughs> Well, I very much appreciate that, God Crucix. I appreciate that very much. The spider clip is one of... One of the earliest clips on the channel, I think. Although I think a lot of the really early clips are, are favorites of yours, Lily. Because they're either... They're either me being afraid of spiders... Or me getting on your nerves a lot. <laughs> oh, no, that's what... Iaelia, I really appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. I love... I Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, Luis. Um, I, I love Silent Hill 2. I just... I, I have a special place in my heart for the third one. And I talked about this a little bit last time when we started playing. But when I first played... Uh, the first Silent Hill I played was the fourth one. Which is... Um, the one that kind of breaks convention. But then I went back and played the second one on, and I had them on the original Xbox, like the, the big burly Xbox that had the controllers that could probably bludgeon someone to death. Um, and I didn't have access to Silent Hill 3 because Silent Hill 3 was just on PC and PS2 at the time. So there was always this kind of mysticism about the third game because I couldn't play it until years later when I finally got a PS2. And then when I finally played it, it was like all that build up anticipation for playing the one Silent Hill game. I played the first one somewhere in there too before the third one. And the third one just stuck with me because I, I waited so long to play it. And I think that has a lot to do with why I like it so much. But on that note, I am going to jump over into the game. And to preface, I am playing the um, not the preferred version of the game. I'm playing the the HD remaster on the the Xbox I think it's 360, but I'm playing it on Xbox One. Um, I don't have access to the original. So I'm doing the, the remastered version, which I know... I believe they lost the entirety of the game. And they had to... Hang on, controller turned off. They had to basically remake the game from the ground up. You want to play 1 and 2? Oh, I don't have a copy of 1. I'd love to play a copy of 1. I don't have 1. I just have... I have this one... Well, this is the second and third in a compilation. Then I saw the fourth one's out for PC now. I don't know if we'll get to all of them throughout the month of October. Because it's... I mean, we're, we're already five days in. And I have a bunch of other stuff that we want to play. So I think the second one might be... I'm also almost dead, which is a concern. I gotta remember... I haven't played in a couple days. So I gotta remember what we were doing. We're in the apartment. We're not too far in. We got very lost in the apartment for a little while. There's something written on the desk. Three bright coins and five holes. B, one end sits the seducer of she. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one knoll lies furthest from they. The old one beside the serpent sits not. Tis to the prisoner's left that he doth rot. Uh, we're still missing a coin, though. There's a line of five, one inch round depression set into the table. We don't have the prisoner coin yet, though. We have... Oh. No, no, not the map. We have the... 
The old man and the snake. So we need to find the prisoner before I can even do this. the run button again. There we go. Okay. But I mean this is this is still very early in the game. 100 percent sure. We've heard that noise before. I'm not, I haven't figured out what it is yet. Oh that might just be the radio. I know the static or when monsters are nearby, but the like squealing noise, I haven't figured out what that is yet. I just haven't found a map for this area yet. Oh, look at that beautiful flower portrait. It's it's in stark contrast to everything else in this room. the door. I'm gonna say, is that all that's in here? Aha! Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm James. <sighs> Angela. Angela. Angela's okay. having a bad time. I, I mean, everybody here's having a bad point. time. There's always another way. The voice acting was so no, 
<laughs> so interesting. <laughs> also, for anyone here, there's the the link to get yourself a free pack of stream loot. Just click that link, you get yourself a free pack. It's one free pack every day this month. I really should have probably picked the, the new voice acting when we started, because I have a feeling they probably did a really nice job. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I wanted to stick as close to the original as possible, but the voice acting definitely leaves a little to be desired. So wait, we have the knife now. Wait, can I not? Can you not use the knife? Is it not a weapon? Well, apparently it's not a weapon. Oh, I don't plan on using this as a weapon. It clearly says that right on the screen. Wait, I should probably heal. <coughs> was there anything else in there, was there? Is there? Why is there a door right next to the other door? I guess there's not, there must be another room on the other side. What is that? There are magazines on the floor. Oh, there it is, the coin. Hell yeah. I thought there was something else in there. Alright, so we have both coins now. Or all three coins. Crawling around, which are a pain in the butt. Let's be back the other way. Because now we should be able to do the coin puzzle. Oh, Sleepy! Cheers to you, my friend. How are you today? Okay, so hang on. We're going to read this in, in script. We have three coins. We've got the snake, the old man, and the prisoner. And we have to put them in the right order, and this is the clue. So let me see if I can jot down. Three bright, bright coins. At one end sits the seducer of she, which would be the snake. At one end. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one, Noel, lies furthest from they. Who's the formless one? The old one besides. So the old one's not by the serpent. but to the left of the prisoner. So... I don't remember which one I picked up. Okay, so. Wait. Which, which one was that? Hang on. I didn't look at which one I was putting in. That's the prisoner. Prisoner looks like a woman. Okay. So wait, that's the reference to...
Hey, Lily. How are you, Lily? I think I need to look at them. Because I think there's other clues from looking at the coins. Playing old man. Oh, maybe not. So I suspect. Back the serpent is here. Looks like the formless one is at the far end. I don't know that I have anyone unless. The foremost one is the old man. Nope. I wonder if the formless, I wonder if there's a fourth coin if we do the harder difficulty puzzles. Because I did normal difficulty puzzles. That would make sense if there were a fourth coin, potentially. No. There we go. We got the Linton House key. Oh. So I think. I think we might be done in this area. I'm going to look around, but I think we might be done in this area. I remember if there's another floor we could go to. I've never got a map for this area. I think that's it. Sorry, said house. stairway key okay so we're not done in this area
Oh, there he is. There's our, our big burly pyramid headed boyfriend. Oh, that's right, I forgot. We have to fight him. Well, fight is a very subjective term. I believe we just have to not die for long enough. I think we can fight him. Oh, yeah, I fucked up. We weren't supposed to fight him. We were supposed to just avoid him. Oops. Game over. He gave us the old, the old throat grab. I think we just avoid him. And eventually he's like, oh, well, I'm bored. I'm going to go elsewhere. We could try shooting him, but I don't, I don't think we're supposed to. All right, I didn't grab the key. Save before I grab the key. So where the hell that freaking else again? There's the little bug who's biting at my ankles. Hey, Nat, how you doing? Oh no, mistakes were made. Oh no, I guess I'm okay. I guess I died instantly last time because I was already 95% dead. Seals Apple, how are you, my friend? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. Oh, sir. Please don't hit me with your, your big old cleaver. I think, I think you're supposed to go down these steps, bud. I just don't remember how to make it happen. Come on over here. Try to shoot them a couple times.
I'm sorry, like... If he eventually, like, fucks off down these... Oh, I'm dead. You got a picture somewhere on your phone or your computer of someone dressed like Pyramid Head in Anime North. That sounds so cool. Pyramid Head Head's so freaking cool. Especially from before they decided to try and foghorn him into every Re Resident Evil, every Silent Hill game. Pick up, pick up that key. Dark-minded Sith, how are you? I did get a raid. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Which I was, I was really excited about the fact that they they had mustard emotes, and I was like, oh, this is perfect. Mustard for the, our our chili dogs over here. Thank you so much for, for recommending me for a raid. I really appreciate that. How you doing tonight, my friend? Get out of my way. I got places to be. Got a tall, burly man in a, in a pyramid hat to see. Yeah, the mustard emotes. It was so perfect. <laughs> I'm supposed to shoot him. Doing nothing didn't seem to do anything before. Thought it was just a matter of surviving. You hate, you hate mustard so much that our community made an emote that's just mustard with your name. Wait, does it have your name on it? I didn't even notice that. Oh, I thought it was just a regular mustard bottle. Oh, that's even cooler. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I didn't. I just saw the mustard. I didn't. I guess I didn't zoom in on it last night. That's amazing. Move. What? Is he gonna fuck off? Oh, he's fucking off. Yeah, you get out of here. Oh, wait. Maybe he's not. I don't know what he's doing. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Sir, sir, I thought you were fucking off. I thought you were leaving. need to survive until he fucked off. Oops. I think I wasted a lot of ammo. Goodbye. Goodbye. So people say things like, hey Ben, and then the mustard emote when you show up. Oh no, that was supposed to be the emote. I I love I love that so much. I was just so excited because everything over here is hot dog themed. So when everyone everyone came rolling in with the raid last night with mustard emotes, I was so excited about the fact that it, it contrasted perfectly to our our chili dogs that I didn't even look at the like the zoomed in version. Oh, we're back outside. I wasted. I'm pretty sure I just needed to survive. I wasted a lot of ammo. Oh well. I'm sure we'll find some more. Oh, 
Oh, Seal's Apple. Hell yeah. Regular pack and the Spooktober pack. You got it. Also, the link should pop up again in a couple minutes for the free daily pack. So if you didn't get your free daily pack of stream loot, which there will be a free daily pack every day throughout October, throughout Spooktober. There'll be a new link that will circulate via Nightbot uh, in chat. It comes around every 15 minutes, at like every 15 minute interval, so it'll come around again at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Whatever that translates out to in, in your time zone. I did. I did. It was really fantastic. We I got quite a few followers from it. So I was really appreciative of that. Thank you. They did, they did give me a heads up that you recommended me for the raid. And I really appreciate that very much. And they all seemed like a really upstanding group of individuals. Which is always amazing. And I'll be keeping an eye out for... The next time they're streaming, so I could pop on over and see what they're all about. You, it was you, wasn't it? Oh, a little brat. You're the one who stepped on yeah, my Yeah, little brat. I don't know. Maybe I did. Where's a little brat? What's a little girl like you doing here anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. Wait! How do you know Mary's name? Hey, Anna, how you doing, my friend? Welcome on in. Good morning to you. Because I know it's morning. It's actually pretty early for you, so good morning. How are you this morning? Oh, it absolutely. Like, anytime, anytime I have, like, an early start where I need to go out early in the morning and it's real foggy out, my immediate instinct is, like, I hope, I hope a big burly pyramid head doesn't come <laughs> sauntering out of the fog. So this is that park. Mary, are you here? Mary, where are you? Wherefore art thou, Mary? Come forth. I'm gonna put my gun away. Because I've already wasted enough ammo. Because I don't think I needed to actually attack Pyramid Head. I think it was a, an endurance battle to just survive until the. 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 Uh, the horn or the alarm or whatever that is went off. Patrick Chester, son of Edward. He fought and died for the people, for liberty, and for all our tomorrows. His memory lives on. Oh, Anna, I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. Yeah, that's, that's an, to, to me, that's an early morn. But I woke up early today, too, so that I could check out the, the new Smash Brothers character, which I'm extremely happy about. I was freaking psyched. I kind of wished I'd gone live to, to live stream my reaction. Because I love Kingdom Hearts. And when I saw that they were adding Sora, I was through the roof. Oh, look at that spooky ghost. Look at that spooky ghost. So spooky. It was trash day. But what, what, what do you mean it was like you just had to take the trash out this morning, Endgamer? Also, how are you doing, Endgamer? I'm glad to hear that, in gamer. Is everything all right? Your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. My name is Marie. Far Cry 6. Oh wait, is Far Cry 6 out now? Oh shit, we never finished Far Cry 3. Were we playing 3? We never finished 3. See? Feel how warm I am? You're really not Mary. I told you. I'm Maria. Yeah, that's close to Mary. I was confused. Where are you going? I'm looking for Mary. Have you seen her? Didn't you say she died? I don't yeah, think we told her three that. Three years ago. But I got a letter from her. 
She says she was waiting in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Was that a hot dog? That is, that's a hot dog is court. Your only special place? This, this hot dog court is our special place. Ooh, Endgamer, congrats on the slow bro. Oh shit. Congrats. Freaking well, love slow bro. The hotel too, I guess. The one on the lake? I wonder if it's still there. The Lakeview Hotel? It's still there. Oh, look at that Zambo. So the hotel that was that Frank and Glizzy. Place, huh? I'll bet it was. Don't get so mad. I was just joking. Anyway, it's not that way. It's this way. You're coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? Yeah, no, but I don't know with you. all these monsters around? No, I just <laughs> I don't know you. I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. I look like Mary, don't I? Loved her, right? Oh no, Lily, I feel so bad. You hated her. Don't be ridiculous. So it's okay? Yeah, fine. <laughs> Maria joins the party. I still can't like the voice. I remember. I remember like in in the day when this game was in its prime. I was like, oh, this is this is the best that any horror game's ever gonna be. And then it's just like the voice acting and like look at horror games that like that's not for for the time that this game came out. It was fantastic, but by today's standards, when you look at it, it's like oh. In memory of the 67 who died of illness and now sleep beneath the lake. Why are they beneath the lake? They died of illness. Wait, why are they... Why did they put them in the lake? Is this the lake? The lake... Wait, is the lake dried up? That doesn't look like water. It's really hard to tell. That didn't look like water. No fishing. No swimming or diving. Oh boy, you can't do anything fun in this lake. It doesn't look like water. I'm trying to figure out if it's... It looks like it's dried up. But that would be a really shallow lake. Uh, so this game was originally for the PS2 and the original Xbox. Oh, um, oh, do we need to? Do we need to fight you? Oh, we can't go there. Maria, don't get, don't get hit. I'm not, I'm not responsible for you, Maria. So we gotta get to. I think we're going to the bowl. If I remember correctly, we're going to the bowl of ramen. Like, that's not our end goal, but I think that's the next place that we end up. Which, when this came out, this was like peak, peak horror graphics and horror material. We're living in a day now where horror games are much more common than they were back then. Like, horror games weren't a big thing in the early days of video games. It was really Resident Evil and Silent Hill that just kinda dominated the entire genre. There were some others, cause there was like peak, yeah, peak horror material. Hit the peak and then we just, we never, we never went anywhere else. We were at the peak. I keep saying peak. Uh, 
I'll wait here. I hate bowling. Oh, okay. Well. I didn't come here to play, you know. Hurry back. Okay. Yeah, have fun with the monsters. So what'd you do? Robbery? Murder? Nah, nothing like that. Ha! Huh, you're just a gutless fat so. What'd you have to say that for? I thought you said the cops were after you. No, I just ran because I was scared. I don't know what the cops are doing. Well, I bet a, I bet a cold shower would that? feel feel nice on the sunburn day. Nice cold shower. Well, I guess I run away a lot too. It's no good. Yeah, she's a little brat. Listen, nobody will ever forgive me. Find the lake you're looking for? What's your name? Mary? Oh. Am I in, I'm like in a different room and he's talking to me? How does he even know I'm here? <laughs> Sir, how do you how do you even know I'm here? I'm in a completely different room. There's nothing wrong with that, Lily. That sounds really relaxing. The YouTuber I watched, he was playing Far Cry 6 on the PS5. I watched the very first survival horror game. Uh, it's called Resident Evil 7. Oh, Resident Evil 7. Hell yeah, Resident Evil 7 is really good. I played RE7 on here a couple months ago. Right before the new one came out. But yeah, Resident Evil 7 is really good. Is that her name? Yeah, I'm calling her a little said. brat. This town is full of monsters. How can you sit there and eat pizza? She said she was fine by herself. She said a fatso like me would just slow her down. Forget you. <laughs> yeah, forget you. You're not even gonna share your pizza with me. What's wrong with you? Okay, I was gonna say, is this not the door? Uh oh. Well, I was gonna say, uh oh, Maria's gone. Did a little girl run out of here? Yeah, she was too fast for me. Aren't you gonna go after her? I don't know. There's spooky monsters out here. Should we go this way? She went this way. We can go this way. She went through there. Is there any other way? Yeah, there is. Right through there. It's no good. It's locked. You could have done that first. Hey, it's right through there, but I'm not gonna unlock the door before. Oh, oh, she's picking the lock. Okay, I thought she had the key. 
What is she doing? What? Why does she have like three different keys for this door? What kind of door is this? <laughs> Why did she pull out three different keys? <laughs> Every character in this game is so... So all the characters in this game presumably are in Silent Hill because they're... They're they're basically paying retribution for something. Just like our character's here looking for his dead wife. We found the Silent Hill strip club. Oh, this is where we want to be. This is where we want to be. We've we've made it. We've arrived at our destination. Oh, look, there's a first aid kit here. This is perfect. This was our goal all along. Forget the monsters out there. We're just gonna stay here. How did you teleport? <laughs> Field Kuro would like to offer a glizzy to everyone in the chat. Glizzy? Oh, that's I think it's I think it's only fitting that that's a very spooky glizzy for everyone in the chat. Courtesy of Caro, a very spooky glizzy to, you know, just warm, maybe not spooky cuz the game's already spooky, so maybe you just need a glizzy to warm your heart and to console you through the scares. That's what it's a comfort glizzy. I lied. It's a comfort glizzy. So take that glizzy and take solace in its uh, deliciousness. Carl, how you doing? <laughs> I had no idea where I was going with that. You take the spooky glizzy. Okay. Spooky, one spooky glizzy coming right up. Hell yeah, Carl. That's awesome. Oh, thank you, Nat. Over there. There she goes. We're at the hospital already. We got the map. There's the map of the hospital. Listen, Maria, I'm concerned by the fact that you keep teleporting around the place. You have about patients hospitalized here. Jack Davis. He has attempted suicide three times in the past for reasons unknown. Though he is normally a model patient who follows doctors and nurses' orders, he must be watched closely due to his past pattern of sudden and violent suicide attempts. Joseph Barkin. This illness seems to be rooted in the fact that he believes he is guilty of causing his daughter's death. His symptoms suggest a psychotic break in paranoid delusions, normally calm, but has a tendency toward violence when excited. Joshua Lewis, history of hospitalization as well as numerous assault, battery, and other violent offenses. He has a strong pers uh, persecution complex and a tendency to solve things through violence. Extreme caution necessary. She is really sus. She just keeps teleporting all over the place. Oh no, not the hospital. Do you, do you, do you not like the hospital? Wait, I didn't. I wanted to save. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to look at the clipboard. I mean, I don't. I don't blame you if you don't like the hospital. I don't. I don't know that hospitals give off like a real eerie vibe. Just in general. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Maria. Um, fun, Funny running into you here. I thought I left you back in the other room. I didn't realize you were going to teleport into the closet. Huh. Potential for this illness exists in all people, and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven like him to the other side. 
The other side, perhaps, may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a psychiatrist. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. But to him, there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why, in the name of healing him, must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Something else is written by hand. I got the key from Joseph. It's probably the key to that box. Oh, where's that? Oh, that's the key. We got the purple bull key. Hmm. It sounds like a puzzle. You don't like hospitals and horror games. You're okay with clinics? I, I've just always found that, especially hospitals that are, like, not necessarily really modern, have this, like, I don't know. It's just something about, like, when you're walking through the halls of, ho of a hospital, it just gives you, just a, even just a regular hospital, it gives off, like, a, an unsettling vibe. All right, so we got, we got a key. We got the bull key. I'm sure that's going to come in handy. But this is just the the next main area that we have to explore. We got a map. Uh, we got to explore all these rooms we haven't gone in. So I guess we'll start with the director's room. Ooh, Endgamer, congrats on that ponyta. All right, we won't start with the director's room. We'll also not start with that room. Oh, that's, wait, that's the elevator. How did I miss? Love Death Life, how you doing my friend? Welcome on in. Is that the, it shows two door, oh that's the one. I really shouldn't watch Silent Hill 2, have not seen the first one, but fuck it. The one good thing is, the the stories from the Silent Hill games don't necessarily interlock as far as like sequels. They generally have new protagonists and new stories going on with with Silent Hill just kind of set as the the backdrop for all the horrible things happening. So even if you haven't played the first one, you're you're not missing anything story related that's going to tie into the second one. Although I highly recommend the first one. The first one's really good. It's it's I'm sure even more dated than than this one. I haven't played the the first one in probably about 15 years. There there are some some themes that connect them. And some characters that are alluded to in some of the games that eventually crop up in other games in the in the franchise, but uh, I don't think we want to leave this for yet. Oh, Brody! Brody, I had no idea. How are you, my friend? Love, death, life. I like that name. That's a really cool name. There's something posted on the bulletin board, but it's not really anything of interest. Silent Hill is a location that brings out the worst in people, making them physical and dangerous. That is true. Oh, I feel like, I feel like Silent Hill kind of attracts. I feel like it's a nexus, and I don't, I don't know all. Because I'm sure there's probably... I still miss the door over there. I'm sure there's probably a lot of, like, analysis of the Silent Hill stories. But I feel like it's almost uh, a magnet for troubled individuals. It's your new Discord name, too. Hell yeah! Do you, do you still like to go by Brody? Or would you like to go by Love Death Life? We'll make sure we accommodate... The underscore Brody underscore Garner wants you to do a 360. I'll do, I'll do more than the 360. I'll do, like... Do like 10 of them. Look at these mad moves. Look at these mad moves. This is just for you. Look at these moves. 
I'm getting dizzy just watching it. <laughs> Look at that speed. Wait, there was another door that I missed over here. Is this one? Look at those speens. Uh, okay, so there's nothing else here. This down here is blocked, so we can't get to those doors. So I guess we are going to the a different floor. Oh, thank you, Anna. I'm glad you enjoyed them. Which one the stairwell? This one. No? This one? That one. Alright, oh, let's go down. Oh, let's go up first. Oh, the nurses! Everybody loves the silent nurses. Please don't hit me. Uh oh, oh no. <laughs> Maybe that's why I should have not wasted all my bullets. <laughs> Yeah, let me show you some real speed. You won't believe this speed. All right, so the, none of the doors in that first opening hallway opened. Except for the stairwell. Oh, Spooktober pack. You got it, Anna. There you go, Anna. You got pack headed your way. I remember if I say it, I didn't say it after grabbing the key. Wait, see? You didn't click that? Oh, there's a health drink over here. Well, that's gonna come in handy. Okay, so none of the other doors open. Some of them are locked, so I presumably might get keys for them later. Oh, Brody, I'm really glad. I'm really glad that you're enjoying it. You're sending some love our way. Thank you so much. I think there's certain achievements on the stream loot site that's that specify like certain powers that you can unlock. I know some of them are from purchasing packs on the site, but I think there's also some that are from scrapping cards that you don't want and that kind of stuff. I know there's a, a section where you can click to see the achievements on the site. And they all correspond to the the different powers. I think there's like three or four powers you can unlock. Excuse me, pardon me. No, no, coming through. Coming through. Come on, Maria. Hmm. How do you keep teleporting? Stop it. The locker won't open. Will any of the lockers open? Oh, I bet this one, this one with the... What was the point of coming in here? Oh. Oh, the examination room key. Oh, uh-oh. That sneaky bat. It's just always sneaking in. Maybe we'll... We don't have a lot of ammo because I wasted... Oh, I've got 60... Oh, I've got 60 bullets. Huh. Huh. Uh, there's not too many jump scares in this game, Watermelon Guy. This is more of like a, a psychological horror game. Oh, please don't get back up.
How you doing, watermelon guy? I didn't realize we had that much ammo. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. We got a shotgun now. I mean, I'm just going to keep the handgun for right now, but that'll probably come in handy at some point. Yeah, we did the we did the the walnut bowling. The walnut bowling was really cool. I wouldn't mind a full game of just walnut bowling. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure, Brody. I'm not sure what her uh, what her schedule is looking like. Unfortunately, most of the the evenings she's been streaming lately. I've been streaming also, so I haven't been able to pop in too much. Anna, thank you so much for the host. Something posted on the bulletin board, but it's not really anything of interest. It's just talking about the spaghetti dinner. The, the the October spaghetti dinner, you know. Nothing in, Oh, hey! Get out of here! Get out! Get! 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 You're putting in Game Builder Garage. Hell yeah. Yeah, she's uh she's a day ahead, so it's uh uh Wednesday. It's Wednesday for her and Billy. Mm, I think we have to go I think the exam room. Oh wait, that's exam room three? Oh, there's a whole other hallway. Oh, there's a whole other hallway I didn't look through. That sounds so cool, watermelon guy. You'll have to keep me updated on when it's finished so I can so I can check it out. That sounds really exciting. Spoopy nurse is coming. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go in here. M Maria, please stop. This this is the oh, we picked up a key. I thought there was just bullets there. This is the closest thing to a jump scare watermelon guy is when Maria just suddenly ends up inside the room in front of us and is just kinda like hanging out. That's that's the closest I think we're well, there might be some jump scares, I don't remember. I haven't played this game in a long time, but I don't think there's a lot of jump scares in this game. Oh, hey! Oh, hey, stop it! I got a bunch of first aid kits. I guess I shouldn't be too worried about using health items. We got four freaking first aid kits.
there's another one. Oh no, she's not dead. No, 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 no. What is Vibrava? Oh, oh! <laughs> yeah, it could be a brand of vibrator. It's a, uh, it's it's a Pokemon themed vibrator. Oh no, that's probably that's probably a real thing. I shouldn't even joke about that because that's probably a real thing. So we searched all those rooms, except, which I think that's another stairwell. I oh, know that's another. There's another room. Oh, it's the elevator. Yes, yeah, the elevator. Oh wait, no! Hey! Fuck off! Can I kill everybody out here? Right, I'm gonna have to. Suck down one of these health drinks. So I'm feeling this is locked. Yeah. Elevator's not working. You're working on the walnut texture. Ooh, I can't wait to see. I'm real excited. Does this place have? Yeah. I can't see the enemy because it's. Oh, there's a lot of things up here. I don't I don't have the uh, the stream loots point system set up if that's something that folks want I can set that up if if folks want to do like gambling and dueling and that kind of stuff Anna diamond has been following for 28 days Anna these have been 28 absolutely fantastic days so thank you so much for for spending time here I really appreciate it I can I can look into getting that set up so that folks can do some some dueling and some gambling with points. <gasps> Karu, you passed a year. Holy hamburgers! One year, nineteen days, and twenty-two hours. I think I think you're one of the as far as the folks that still pop in on a regular basis. I think between yourself and Lily. Oh no, I need a code. Between yourself and Lily, and I think Wilson's probably in the in the one year bracket also. Well, Link is also, I'm sure, in the one year bracket. Two months, two days, and twenty one fantastic hours. Thank you so much, Brody. Yeah, Caro, you've been around almost since the beginning, and I very much appreciate that. All right, so I don't have code. One year, one month, twenty nine days, and twenty two hours. Yeah, Lily's just got you beat by about a month, almost two months. But Lily's Lily's been around since like the actual beginning. Uh, one month, two days, and twenty-one hours for watermelon guy. Hell yeah! Oh, uh, seals apple. I think there's a there might be a cooldown. On the on the followage, there we go. One month, twelve days, and twenty-one fantastic hours. Thank you so much, Seals Apple. I really appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you taking time out of your day to hang out and watch me run around and try and not die in basically any video game I play. All right, so I don't think we can go anywhere else on this floor. We need a code. I don't have a code. Is there is there a fourth floor? There it is. Oh, the roof. It's locked. Sorry, Maria. We can't go out on the roof. 
I know you were real excited to go out and check out the roof, see what kind of view we would get, but it's just not happening. It's just not happening. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm good with, with whatever. Whatever you want to go by in the server is more than okay with me, as long as it's not anything offensive, obviously. But yeah, no, you're, you're good with whatever you want to go by in the server. Alright, so this was the, we explored this, this area, but then I died, which I should probably go save. Before I die again. Actually, because we have a couple keys now. So let me just check all these doors again. Yeah, I've I've got no problem with that. We we are an 18 plus channel, so as long as it's not like racist, sexist, or anything like that, we're we're pretty okay with it. We're we're an all inclusive community. Everybody is welcome here. We're okay with swearing too. Swearing's not a problem. I I drop f bombs at least at least two dozen times an evening. If we're playing a Souls game, I'll drop them at least a hundred times in an evening. Do I not have a key for? Where are all those keys I found for? Oh, maybe over there. Yeah, over there. Examination room. Oh no, Lily! I'm so sorry. Wait, Lily, did you have sunscreen? Lily's on vacation. Lily's at the beach. Shelf's glass door is open. What's this file? Lab results from a personality disorder test. Lab results? I don't want to read this. I don't have time. Maria, please stop teleporting around. You're scaring me. There are medical records on the desk. Nothing particularly interesting. Yeah, Lily's on vacation. I hope Lily's having an absolutely fantastic time. Because that's the important thing. Third floor patient Ling Hall 7th. Oh, here, here. Wait, is this the code? 7335. Hang on, I gotta take notes. I've got like, I've got like three pages of notes in my little notepad on Silent Hill 2 so far. 7335. Not on my eyebrows or like the middle of my back. I couldn't reach. Oh no! You sent me a picture. Oh no, I'll have to look at it later. Lily, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Did the aloe at least help with the with the stinging at all? You used to live about two hours away from Pismo Beach in California. Oh, I've never been to California. I was like, I don't recognize that beach name. I've never been to California. But since I moved, I haven't been to a beach in about five or six years, maybe seven. Here, Here's a, a little known fact about me. I don't know how to swim. <laughs> I have no idea how to swim. If maybe instinct will kick in if I ever get in water. But I can't, I can't necessarily count on that. Ooh, an oatmeal bath. I've, I've heard that oatmeal baths are very helpful for sunburn. I think the last time I was to a beach was when I was 16. I'm now 30. So it's been a while. <laughs> oh, no, no. I killed everybody here. What? Excuse me. Also, I can't see. I can't. Hey. I 
killed you already. Please stay dead this time. All right. Seven. Seven. Three. Three. Five. Music's getting spoopy. Music's getting spoopy. You doing okay, Maria? You all right? You don't seem all right. Jeez. <coughs> Wait a minute. Kind of tired. Maybe it's. Oh, I don't. I don't know that that's the solution. <laughs> it's just a hangover. Oh, okay. You should rest. Yeah, just stay here. Mm. Please stop teleporting around. <laughs> so comfy. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura, I'll be back as soon as I can. I got the roof key. Sorry, Maria. I'm going to the roof without you. Uh, it's been over... It's been like a year or two for you because of COVID. Yeah, yeah. COVID kind of messed up a lot of vacations for a lot of people. You only live like 20 minutes... Wait, you only live 20 minutes from a beach, Lily? Oh, but your beach is cold AF. Okay, that's different then. Singapore have a lot of people working from home. I think, I think a lot of places have people working from home now. And I suspect that even, even once... COVID passes, a lot of businesses are going to realize that they saved a lot of money by doing remote work, so I suspect a lot of, like, office jobs and stuff are going to stay remote, because I think a lot of places have probably realized that they, they saved a lot in their bottom line. Oatmeal baths will help with the burn, and it won't sting as much. Goat milk bath will help as well. Any drugstore should have it. Ooh, I've never heard of a goat meal bath. A goat milk bath, sorry. Oatmeal baths I've def definitely heard of as being a, a really solid cure, well not cure, but help for uh, sunburn. Yeah, yeah, I always I always like to preface Watermelon Guy, we are, we are an 18 plus mature stream, so there will be swearing, there will be like, like, I mean we're playing Silent Hill 2 right now, this is a very, a very adult, adult game. So, um, I do preface, there are folks that are not 18 plus, but, um, there is a message that pops up when you first come into the stream that makes you agree that you're okay to see mature content, but I do like to preface that fact. Took an oatmeal bath when you were little and had the chicken pox. Oh, I've never had the chicken pox. Does a lake count? I don't live anywhere near an ocean or sea, so three years for me if it doesn't count seven years or three years if it does count so i'd say i'd say a, a lake can count yeah i make a lot of inappropriate comments we talk we talk about rule 34 a lot we talk about tentacles a lot we're definitely an 18 plus channel <laughs> how do you win what what are you trying to win what what do we need what do you need a strategy to win we can help you. We can give you a solid winning strategy for whatever you're trying to win. Excuse me. Come back when you're looking like the, the nurses from, from the Silent Hill movie. Oh, how do you win the stream loots? Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, I got confused. Um, so any anyone that buys packs of stream loots via the stream loot site this month is entered for a chance to win packs of stream loot on every Friday of the month. Um, I'm going to be giving away 50, 50 packs of stream loot to a random winner every Friday. But you have to, it's it's only for the folks that buy them via the site, not like channel points. I don't even have. When when I go on stream loot, I don't even have a way to track who redeems channel points. I guess I just send them as gifts. So 
Um, it's exclusively for folks who, who physically buy packs. Uh, every pack you buy is another entry. So even buying one pack means you still have a slight chance to win. If I had a long, narrow tool of some kind, oh, I'd be able to really get down in there. I'm always excited. Does that mean I should always use caps? Go ahead and say, oh, pack for Lily, hell yeah. Let's get Lily a pack of stream loot. There you go, Lily. We got a pack on the way. Oh, I already sent it. I already sent it. <laughs> I didn't know if you were able to send it via via mobile or not. Uh, like cat, like all capitals. As in, when you have caps lock on, you type in all. Oh. This, uh, this looks like a potential, what does this say? There's something written on the wall. Louise, I'll take care of you forever. That's the wrong four, but maybe that's intentional. It's my destiny. Hmm. Is, is it four? Hmm. It's quite the, uh, is it just all, all fours? I feel like I may need some, some more clues to solve this. Hmm. I, I, may, I may need some more clues for that. I mean, one of them's probably a four. So I'll go ahead and write a four in my notes. <laughs> I mean, we can try it. Oh, 666 isn't going to work for the the four-digit one. 666. Six, six. No. Oh, Lily, I bet, I bet your kitties miss you, too. I bet they miss you. Cats are cats are very independent like that. They kind of just do their own thing. Some of them, not all of them, but a lot of cats just kind of do their own thing. This is the door I haven't tried. Yeah. No, but we've got the roof key. Let's go to the roof. I mean, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's a good thing until she tries to sleep on your face and you can't, you can't breathe, Lily. <laughs> then I'm, then I'd be concerned. Oh, look at this, look at this beautiful, oh, look at the view. Look at this beautiful view. What happened to Silent Hill? <laughs> Silent Hill, where you go? Uh oh, oh, sir. That was a little bit uncalled for. Am I just dead now? Oh no, okay, I'm down here. I'm 
pyramid head. You're supposed to be our our beefy pyramid headed boyfriend. How dare you throw us off the roof and oh we're almost dead. We're in the special treatment room. Now it's unlocked. What are we written on the wall? Ah, nine one two eight. Nine, one, I think it's an eight, two, eight. Oh, wait, turn, turn, turn the numbers. Better not forget them, so I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. Your secret name? So this is for the padlock. Sleepy, hell yeah, let me get you a pack. Let me send a pack your way, Sleepy. There you go. You can throw walnuts now, hell yeah. Now I need the zombies made and the zombies... And the, oh, the words the zombie ate your brains. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That sounds really cool. I bet Pyramid Head would be on Pornhub. I mean, uh, a Silent Hill convention. Oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you, Brody. There's some, there's some, uh, some real, some real solid Pyramid Head Rule 34 out there. You don't have to worry. <laughs> you don't have to worry. It's out there. What's this dude's secret name? Is it one of the... I don't know where I am. Where am I? Yeah, the the big guy with the... With, with the, the big, like pyramid shaped metal helmet that just knocked us off the roof that's pyramid head he's real burly that's okay lily you're having a good time that's the most important thing Uh, he's real, he's real buff, and I, I think, I, I think, uh, I, I, I think he's very, he's very popular with, with everyone that enjoys buff, burly men, who are also very aggressive. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Two. There we go. We got that one, but I don't know what to do about this one. Louise will take care of you forever. Forever and ever. Oh no, he is he is not friendly. He's definitely not friendly. He's like the main antagonist of this game. Wait, does this have a room number? S14. So wait, I wonder if one of those files back in the beginning like corresponds to like a patient ID number or something. You 
can you can you can drop it in the in the media section of the Discord if you want, Brody. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Just uh, I would preface that it's uh, adult material. Otherwise, Sleepy will be complaining when he accidentally clicks on it. Where's this file? Patients hospitalized here. Uh, Jack Davis. Joseph Barkin. Nope. Too bad I'm not like with the rest of the people on this trip, but I'm like, I don't want a people. That's okay, Lily. You don't have to. You're on vacation. You're supposed to be doing whatever, whatever is fun. Look, he has, he has the, uh, essentially the, the bad guy of a horror game. So I don't I don't think it would work out for him if he didn't look creepy. Right, there's not. Hmm. What other keys do I have? There's other keys, I think. An eye is carved into the top of the key. Does that open anything? Oh, Pyramid Head's also in Dead by Daylight now. That's right. I bought I bought all of his DLC because he's the only the only killer I've ever played as. Lil, I'm pretty sure Lily had a small aneurysm as I was slowly buying all the DLC for him. Was it just because I wasn't I wasn't play, playing the game correctly? <laughs> yeah, I still I still don't think I ever learned how to do that, Lily. Yeah, it's like a giant cleaver. He's got kind of like a like a butcher look going on because he's even got like the apron and everything. Is there anything else on the roof before he so rudely knocked us off? Oh, you will. You definitely will. He'll make more appearances in game. Quite a bit. secret name what is your secret name wait what's this it's written on the wall <gasps> if Joseph looks home he can be taken out of his cell oh apparently this is Joseph but that's not that, that's not a secret name that's just a regular old name a 
roster somewhere. But maybe it was on that clipboard, but I didn't see. Because presumably we have to get into that box. Hell yeah, watermelon guy. That sounds so awesome. You're really, you're cruising. You're making so much progress. That's so awesome. James, I want to ask you something. What if... What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? Leave? Go home? I haven't thought about that. She's dead. <laughs> oh, no worries, Nat. I hope you're having a fantastic time with ESO. That's awesome. I'm really glad to hear that you're, you're getting to enjoy yourself and play some games. That's right, we hit we can't reach this thing. Wait, do I have anything to reach? That's right, I forgot there's this thing in the drain here that we can't reach. Yep, the elder scroll elder scrolls online. What was drawn on it in purple? It was on the desk. Oh, I can combine it? Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm really sure that it is. <laughs> I think I think Skyrim's been added to ESO. ESO is kind of like the, I guess technically the the newest Elder Scrolls after Skyrim. Well, Skyrim's a region in in um, Tamriel, which is the world of Elder Scrolls. I don't know if if Skyrim is in. I don't remember Skyrim being in the game when I played it, but that was a long time ago. Alright, so I can't I can't get whatever that is. I, presumably there's something in that box I need. Which is down here. But I don't know where. Oh, it takes place before the events of Skyrim. Hell yeah. I didn't know that. Oh S S fourteen. I think I wonder if that's five one four. Five, one, four? No. Four, 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 four. No. Oh no, hotline, I'm sorry. I don't know. I know the the notification the Discord went up, but I know sometimes notifications from from Twitch are a little bit funky. Yeah, so it's like the second age and Skyrim is the third age. Oh, okay. When the Nords don't trust magic and etc. Huh. Yeah, I didn't know that. I played ESO very little at one point. Hmm. I don't think it would be the other code, because that was to open the door. Yeah, no. We're 
we're missing a combination somewhere. How are you tonight, Hotline? Oh. That's locked. Shower room, we need the thing to get the thing. Very descriptive, I know. Uh, special treatment room is where we got the first code. Maybe we'll go back down to the second floor and see if I missed a code down there. Hell yeah, Hotline, I'm really glad to hear it. I'm really glad to hear it. Enjoying it. You have almost 300 hours in the game. Hell yeah, that's so awesome. I've uh, I've I've gotten back into Animal Crossing recently. I watched the other night we raided Abby Abacadabra, uh, and Abby was playing Animal Crossing, and then Type Orange was talking about how much they play Animal Crossing. So I've I've recently started. I've recently started uh, getting back into Animal Crossing again. You can only have eight zombies. Oh no, is there like a limited number of assets that you could have in the game, Watermelon Guy? You doing okay, Brody? I re I had it uninstalled. I didn't even have it installed until a couple nights ago. Yeah, I know. That was that was Brody. I know. I'm aware. <laughs> there's been a there's been a whole discussion around it. <laughs> Thank you, Flan. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, I asked them to please clarify that it was 18 plus content. Oh, there's a limit on the player things of eight. Oh no. See I haven't I haven't dug too far into I haven't dug too far into the the, the actual maker of um, game builder garage yet, watermelon guy. So I wasn't sure as far as if there was a limit on what you could do. Also, flannel, how are you? Oh no, Aelia, that's okay. I really appreciate the lurk. How are you doing this evening? How's your evening treating you? Brody, sometimes that happens. Sometimes it just happens that you, you stumble down an internet rabbit hole and you find yourself to, to some stuff that you're you're just you're really vibing with. I don't know if that's if that's the right way of phrasing that, but yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? The typewriter here. I've got no use for this. Wait a minute. What's this? It's a sheet of carbon paper is still stuck to the typewriter. I can still read the imprint left on. Aha! I know it. I know the number of the box. Yes. This is what we need. Three, five, three, seven. We found it. It can't. It can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me, so nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am. Is who I am. Is who I am. Is. Hmm. Yeah, vibe with. Hey, Ratzel! Ratzel, how you doing? Yeah, sometimes you just vibe with something, and, you know, it's a good time. This is not where we want to go. Mm. 
Here we go. Uh-oh. Wait. Down this way. We're gonna get back to the stairs. Go out. Made chicken Caesar bacon wraps for dinner. Watching your stream and playing Genshin. I'm. I'm so tempted to. I, I'm tempted to start playing Genshin, but I'm also worried about all the microtransaction stuff that goes in the Genshin. We were. I was watching. Uh, Plushy Ash last night was playing Genshin. I forget who read I think it might have been Neon Medusa. Oh, it was Neon Medusa and Ghost. And she was playing some Genshin. I was like, this looks pretty good. But then I also know that it's one of those games where it it's very heavily leaned into that a lot of the stuff, either you just grind forever or you... Um, You pay money to get like all the the extras. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a new. I don't know what else if you posted other stuff, um, but I'm gonna make a, a not safe for work channel in the Discord, Brody. And if you don't mind moving that link into there, just so folks that don't want to encounter those sorts of things don't feel. Like they could potentially stumble across them. So if you don't, I'm deleting your initial link. If you don't mind, just repost it. I just made a, a not safe for work channel in there. There we go. You used to play Genshin a lot when it came out. It's not worth... Oh, it's not worth it. See, it, look, it looks really fun. It reminds me of... It reminds me a lot of Breath of the Wild. There we go. It, it's open. Is it open? Wait, is it not open? Oh, Hello? It appears to be open. Is there something else I need to do? Well, there's also a oh, there's also a padlock. God damn it! Is it this key? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Now is it open? <laughs> Please? Was there also, like, a lock on the front of it that I can't... Who locked this up like this? Who did this? Oh, oh, the purple bull key is also for this thing. Oh, there we go. Now it's open. There were four freaking lot on oh, there's like a piece of string in there. So if you want to play it, go for it. You're probably not going to want to stop playing if you That's that's my concern. That's my concern is that I'll start playing it and I'll be like, "Oh, well now now I'm going to buy the things." You don't need to buy the gotcha stuff. You earn the Primo Gem slowly in the game for the Wish Shop. Okay. Yeah, Ash kind of kind of gave me the same impression last night was that you didn't necessarily need to buy all the stuff. There's nothing. Why did we open it? No, I'm wrong. Oh, there's a few hairs inside. I got a piece of hair. That's good. That's what am I supposed to do with a piece of hair? I don't What do I do with this? I there are four locks on this box. 
just to get a couple pieces of hair. Why? Tartar! <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, raiders. How's everybody doing? We just we just opened a box that was secured with four separate locks just to get a couple strands of hair. Huh? Laughing beside you. Oh Thank God. you so much for the follow. Ooh, Ooh that jump scare. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Oh my. Let's see. Let's see. All, oh, all suit here. No worry, hot. No worries, hotline. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you for the work. Latest game reviews. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Laughing beside you. How are you, my friend? Can you hear it? It's a raid. Tarnation is here to shake up your stream. Hell yeah. Vanished army. Thank you so much for that follow. How are you, my friend? Sanuzi. Ooh, I like that name. Sanuzi. Welcome on in. Kuma the Demon, how are you today, my friend? Tartar, how are you? Chilly, huh? Sanuzi, thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it. And Ketchup John Mustard, how are you? Latest game reviews, how you doing? I like that name a lot. Sanuzi is such a, it's such a catchy name. You're playing the best horror game ever made. So I talked about this a little bit earlier. I actually prefer Silent Hill 3, just a little bit more. Just a little, it's it's only a, a slight it's only a slight inclination toward the third one. They're both really fantastic in my opinion. And I think the fourth one's really fantastic. Do I use the hair to get this thing? To me that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I guess I do. I'll never be able to snare it like oh I need something else. Uh Imagine there's something I need to combine it with. Oh, hell yeah. I'm really glad to hear that latest game reviews. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's a solid name. It's a solid name. You can never go wrong with folks just really enjoying and vibing with your name. You're doing great, Kuma. Hell yeah. This game This game's fantastic. This game's really fantastic. I don't remember a ton of it because it's been a long time since I played it, but um, it's it's a really it's a really solid game. I know I need to I need to combine this with something, but I'm not sure. I think I'm missing what I need to combine it with. Uh, this is actually the HD remaster of it. I know it's not the preferred means of playing it. This is the the HD remaster on the that was for the 360. I th I believe the the situation was that most of the the original game, as far as the coding, was lost. So they made the they remade the game from the ground up, uh, sort of like they had to do with the first Kingdom Hearts when they remade it, but. I, from what I understand, and I haven't had any issues. From what I understand, there's a lot of bugs in the remake. I haven't had anything happen so far. And I'm usually the one to find bugs. Um, sort of like the time that I completely glitched out of the map when Lily and I were playing Resident Evil 5 and I somehow fell through the map into the, the Great Abyss underneath. <laughs> I have a tendency to to stumble across bugs. I think it's because I play in a very a very frantic manner. Alright, so I think I'm still missing something. But I don't know... I don't know where that leaves for us to go. No, I, I think I think Maria just randomly appearing in rooms is, is par for the course. There's nothing else in there. Yeah, I'm just I'm kind of like a like a bull in a china shop. I just like to rush in and rush out and get things. That's why I'm not good at any games that involve stealth. Oh, wait, maybe I should I wonder if I should go talk to Maria. She's taking a little a little nap. Hey Maria, you doing alright? I don't think she's doing alright. <laughs> Did you find Laura? Okay. Thought maybe she'd have something. I imagine there's something we need to combine with the string. 
to get whatever this is. Hmm. Uh, to play Walnut Bowling, like the actual Walnut Bowling underscore, party? Put underscore, you oh, underscore, sleepy. do underscore, sleep, redeem the free stream loot pack. Redeem the stream loot pack. Also, for everyone that popped in, uh, there's a link that pops up every 15 minutes in the chat. I think it just popped up. Uh, if you click that link, you get a free pack of stream loot, at least for the first 20 folks that redeem that code. And I haven't noticed how many have redeemed it. Uh, only five so far, so there's still quite a few packs to redeem. Every day throughout Spooktober, I'm giving out free stream loot packs to at least the first 20 folks, because that's the the, high, the most I can set a coupon code for. Oh, laughing beside you. Uh, stream loot is this really cool thing that we use over here, and it was kind of like you just saw... Um, there was like a, a gif that played on the screen and a sound effect that played. So stream loot is this really interactive tool where it's kind of like opening packs of cards. And you can get things to interact with the stream. Could be something simple like a sound alert or a, a gift that'll play. Or it could be something that makes me do something. Like I have a card in there. I underscore put underscore you underscore do underscore Sleepy, Sleepy sleep redeem the free stream loot endless pack. Endless free stream loot packs because I'm convinced that Sleepy has found the glitch in the Matrix. And just gets endless amounts of stream loot cards. Yep, just like this. So Dick's wants you to play with one hand for 15 okay. seconds. So... Um, I don't know how this is going to, here we go, Carl. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. But yeah, Dixper is just a, a similar program. Um, they're adding more stuff similar to Dixper now. Uh, where it's going to be able to affect, like, your actual overlay and, like, your screen and stuff. Because I know that's the big thing with Dixper is it could, like, flip your screen around and, like, um, stop you from being able to control stuff. I don't think the control aspect of things would work for for me because I primarily play console games, which is part of the reason that I've I've never switched over to Dixper. But I know with Dixper it can even like shut down your keyboard and stuff. There you go, watermelon guy. You got a Spooktober pack headed your way. So I need to figure out and for anyone over here that doesn't know what Dixper is it's a it's a very similar site to to stream loot I know our dear friend ghost pepper and Jinto Lin they use Dixper I think ghost uses Dixper and stream loot which kudos to ghost because that's a lot to keep track of Well, you start using it on Friday while playing fat. Oh, it's it's a ton. Even I have a bunch of cards in the. I released a special pack of stream loot cards for Spooktober, and there's a spe there's a whole bunch of cards in the in the new Spooktober pack that are just things for Phasmo because we're gonna be playing Phasmo every Friday over this way. Well, we're going to probably split it up between Phasmo and Dead by Daylight, depending on what, what folks are looking to play. Uh, maybe the first floor... Yeah, so Walnut Bowling was originally in Plants vs. Zombies, but Watermelon Guy is remaking Walnut Bowling using the Game Maker Garage that came out for the, the Switch right now, which is really impressive. Watermelon Guy is always working on cool new game designs and stuff like that. Can you not play I'm you, you can definitely play it in in the in the game itself in Plants vs. Zombies. It's just a little mini game in Plants vs. Zombies. 
Hmm. What do I need to combine? There must be something. It's probably something really obvious that I've missed. It's on the first floor. Oh, no worries, Tartar. No worries. Need to get ready for sleep and pray I don't have nightmares from LOF. I'm trying to think what LOF would be. I hope you have a fantastic night. I hope you get a great night's sleep. Hopefully there's, there's no nightmares. But I hope you get a fantastic night's sleep, and I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Thank you so much again for the raid. Bo! How are you, Bo? Yeah, there's uh there there's been a new channel added to the Discord because Pyramid Head is uh is real popular apparently. <laughs> when am I gonna play this next? Probably next week. I try to I try to mix things up and play some different games throughout the week. So honestly, laughing beside you, I'll probably play more of this next week. Tomorrow I'm actually going to be starting Psychonauts as the as the second main game that we'll be playing for Spooktober right now. So tomorrow we'll be playing some Psycho the first Psychonauts because I have not played the first one yet. Oh hell yeah, I really appreciate that. I hope you have a fantastic evening if you're headed off to bed. I hope you have the best possible sleep that you can get. The underscore bro, the oh, underscore Brody, garner you. says. Good job. Thank you. I appreciate it, Brody. Hmm. I'm to figure out what I'm supposed to combine with these strands of hair that were so elaborately locked up behind four padlocks to get something out of a drain. I don't remember what I need. Oh, it's raining, Anna. Oh, I hope it's not, I hope it's not storming too bad. Although, personally, I kind of like the rain. It's very peaceful. Especially when it's, when it's raining it, in the, like, when you're in the process of, of trying to go to sleep. Uh, yep, I'm playing the... This is the, the Xbox 360 version of the game. Food only. Do not store drugs. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, well, I'm, I'm playing on the Xbox One. It's, it's compatible with the Xbox One. A good majority of 360 games are compatible on the One. I think even even if it's not online compatible anymore, you can still play a 360. You just can't download online updates for the games anymore. But you can still play them off of a of, of a disc. Yeah, it's you're you're on you're on the other end of the spectrum. It's the the start of your day and it's raining. That's never fun. No, Lily, don't put your drugs in there. Don't do it. They're going to get angry. They'll get real angry at you. You don't want to put your drugs in there. You know, 
open this, can I? No. I imagine we're gonna get the key for that. That might even be what's in that drain. I played this game a long time ago. Oh, the first game. I I don't have a copy of the first game. I've played through the first game a long time ago. I unfortunately don't have a copy of the first game anymore. I sold it uh, with a lot of my old games a while back. So unfortunately, I don't have the first one to play. That's the same reason I don't have... I wish I could just boot up the original of this, because I know it's better than the, the remaster. Um, but I that's another one that unfortunately was a casualty of when i was in college i sold a bunch of my old games to just have some extra money for like school books and stuff like that hmm something i missed You still have your, yeah, I don't, I, I have a couple of the old Final Fantasy games for PS1, and I think I still have a few of the Spyro games, but that's about it. I actually, I, th I think I may have, when I originally played this, I think I may have borrowed it off of a friend of mine. I don't know that I, I actually had a copy of, that was my own, of Silent Hill 1, now that I think about it. This is where we fell down. This is where we got the code. There's the code. Nothing in here. I wish, I really wish they would release, and Konami seems like they're a real stickler for releasing these games. Um, I did see they recently, well, not, I don't know how recently, but within, at least within the last couple of years, they released a, a PC version of the fourth game. Which is definitely a move in the right direction. I wish they would release PC ports of all the games, because that'd be fantastic. You know what people borrow? Your discs anymore. Your sister's ex borrowed it for a weekend and then stole it because they broke up the next day. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that, Brody. That stinks. That really stinks. I'm sorry. Hmm. Unless there's something really obvious that I already have. Because it definitely seems like this is used here. Let me read what it says again. Never be able to snare it like this. So presumably, I need to combine it with something. Yeah, that, that is a real dick move. Elimination room. It's not in the special treatment room. What's in the room with the save? I don't remember what's in there. Is that the room that Maria's sleeping in? You got the game itself done and the game over. Hell yeah, the game over screen done. That's awesome. That's so awesome, watermelon guy.
Hmm. What's in the locker rooms? Women's and men's locker rooms. It says I went in there. I don't remember searching them, though. And the actual cutscene where the zombie walks into the house. Ooh. That sounds so awesome. Aha, I didn't come in here, I don't think. Or if I did, I don't think. Oh, maybe I did. I thought that was something. It's He's looking down there. Oh, there we go. Ow. Aha! We got the bent needle! Oh, I love that- I love that little dancing blob emote. It's so freaking adorable. Alright, so now... We can combine... The hair with the bent needle and get whatever that is in the dream. And presumably it's going to be a key that'll unlock somewhere else that we can go. I'm going to go ahead and combine and use. There we go. Oh, it is a key. Hell yeah. Fleet Admiral Psycho, welcome on in. Silent Hill 1 freaked you the fuck out as a child because you played it with uh, with my uncle's game when I was 9 in the middle of the night. Oh, no. I imagine that, that any of these games, when you're really young, would be really... I mean, this game is really freaky, period. So playing one of these games as a kid, I mean, I, I played I played these games as a kid. Oh, I'm trying to think how old I was. Probably I was probably a teenager by the time I played these. I was probably in like middle school, early high school. So I want to say I was like maybe 13, 14. So I definitely wasn't a real young kid, but I could see that being really freaky. Cause cause things really when you're a kid and you see something scary, things really hit you. Whereas now you think you see things scary and you're so desensitized to it that it's like, oh, it's just another another horror game. But when you're a kid, those those things get under your skin. What was the key for? Elevator. Oh, patient wing elevator. Oh, hang on. We can ride the elevator now. The truth is, uh, you were alone, and you played up until you find the tortured guy chained on the fence in the beginning. Then the monsters came. I died, shut it off, and went to bed. <laughs> oh no. I'm sure, and I'm sure going to bed after that was probably not a pleasant experience either, because those things tend to follow you into your sleep when when things freak you out all right so oh first floor maybe there's that whole whole section of the first floor that we've not been able to explore yet you saw your dad watching horror movies when you were a kid uh then you got your first nightmares you I still remember it yeah those those things tend to stick with you Okay, yeah, so we're in the, this hallway that we couldn't get to before. There's 
he looking at? What's he looking at? He seems like he's looking at something. Maybe not. That looks like he's looking at... Is that something on the floor? Oh! Other bullets, okay. Yeah. So this has, like, Wind Waker logic, where when you come into a room and there's something on the floor, or somewhere that you can pick up, he tends to kind of look at it to give you a little, a little hint. Oh no, watermelon guy, I'm so sorry. But you know, the best way, the best way to get over those fears is to just kind of confront them head on. Oh no, I shouldn't say that, because then someone's going to be like, you need to confront your fear of spiders head on. And no, <laughs> I'm never going to do that. When Luigi's Mansion first came out, your brother couldn't sleep alone. Ooh, I never, I've never had an issue. How old was I? Probably 12 when Luigi's Mansion came. Maybe 11, 12. Yeah, because I think, I think Luigi's Mansion came out in 2001, so I would have been 11. I never had an issue with Luigi's Mansion, though. Hey, Doop! Doop, doggy dog. How you doing, my friend? Welcome on in. How are you, my friend? Yeah, we've been we've been live for two hours and now twenty eight minutes. You got a fear of blood. I blood makes me so seeing someone else's blood doesn't affect me, but like if I see my own blood, I get queasy. I don't I don't have a problem with like if someone else is bleeding and like they they need like a band aid or medical attention or something like that, it doesn't bother me. But seeing my own blood makes me queasy. No, 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 no. Seal's apple. No, 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 no. A big old scary wolf spider. Daddy long legs. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's why I immediately, when I said something about facing your fears, I immediately regretted it. Because I knew, I knew right off the bat that it would get turned around on me facing my own fear of spiders. Be willing to take a very important game suggestion. You're everybody's always more than welcome to suggest a game. We do uh, every Thursday. I do viewer requested games. We are we are booked out a couple weeks on them, so it'll be a little bit before you get to any new ones. But oh, Call of Cthulhu! Oh God, fucking spider on the screen! I've uh, I've played a little Call of Call of Cthulhu, but I can definitely check it out again. I never finished it. Huh? I've also never played it on stream. You know my name. Eddie told me. That big fat blabbermouth. Oh, dupe, thank you so much How for the do you work. Know about Mary? I really appreciate it. What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No. Yeah. I won't. Y yeah, yeah. James, you gotta stand your ground. Yeah, we're gonna yell a lot, so you should tell us. I was friends with Mary. We met at the hospital. It was last year. You liar! Laura, I... Fine, don't believe me. <laughs> Told you we were gonna yell. Last year, Mary was already... I'm sorry, oh, I need Laura. to I need to check out whatever anyway, this squid game let's is. Go. Everyone's been talking about it, and we talked about it during the Beardy Bunch podcast. And apparently Billy's also a really big we fan can talk of it. About this later. This is no place for a kid. There are all think... sorts of strange things around so, here. I don't think this is a place for anyone. A scratch on you. Why should I? Hey, da daddy duty is very wait, important, dude. Something I gotta get. That's very important. Later, okay? But, but really hopefully now you'll get to unwind and it? relax for the rest of your evening. Uh -huh. No. Yes. yes. No. James, you're such a pushover. He's such a freaking pushover. Come on, hurry up. Is it uh -huh. in there? She's gonna lock us in. James, James, stop. Don't, don't. Don't, James, yeah. don't. <laughs> oh, James, you're so dumb. What are you doing, Laura? It's further back in the desk.
Laura. Told you. I warned you. Should have listened to me. What are you doing? Hmm. Ha ha. I tricked you. Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? You're a brat is what you are. Want me to open it? Huh? Huh? Do ya? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> What's the magic word? Now. Laura? Okay. I guess it won't open it. I think I'll just leave you like this. You snotty little brat! Open yeah, up. finally he said it. Why, you... You... Laura? You hurt me! Well, here we go. Too close to you, it grabs you with a little, it's a little dangling feet. Is there a third one? Oh, are there three? Did another one come down? Because I definitely got both of them. ever intended to be listened to through headphones. James. James. Yep, that's me. Squid Games is legit so far. I've been hearing so many good things about it. I definitely want to check it out. Where um where would one go to watch Squid Games? Is it on like any streaming services? Where are we? What am I outside? What am I outside? Oh, it's on Netflix. Oh shit! I'll have to check it out. I don't have. I had. I got rid of Netflix for a little while. Oh, that's right. It, everything changes. We're in like the nightmare world now. Ooh, extra spoopy. Yeah. So we're in the nightmare version. So. Um, we have to re-explore everything. Oh, Anna, I hope you have a fantastic day at class. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Even added the scream at the game over screen when Crazy Dave screams, No! When you die. That's really cool. That's so awesome, Watermelon Guy. Okay, so I have access to the elevator. I don't necessarily want to take the elevator. Yeah, I'm sure eventually I'll want to, but um, I should 
probably explore this floor first. Chili, huh? Yeah, boy, Ash. Thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome on in. Don't worry. All all of the monstrosities tonight were specially designed by game developers. I I have not had a hand in creating any of the mon monstrosities laid before us. Unlike when I was playing Neo. It's uh, it's kind of making terrifying characters. All right, he's looking. Oh, there's bullets there. Making terrifying characters when they give me free reign to design a character is is kind of my favorite things in those sorts of games. <laughs> oh no, was it was it what kind of dream was it? Was it a good dream? I bet it was a good dream. He chose not to remember. <laughs> I bet it was a really good dream. <laughs> I mean, she had such a beautiful face. I don't even type orange. I don't even have to look now. <laughs> I just hear your walk on. I'm like, type orange is here. How are you? How is the rest of Phasmo? Something that looks like a refrigerator. Oh, you better believe I'm going to open it. Phasma was great. Hell yeah, that's so awesome. I'm really glad to hear it. Hmm. It's no good. The door is too heavy to open by myself. Oh, we need Maria. Wake up. Oh, wait, she's upstairs. Oh, yeah, we probably should have gone to check on her. Now that everything's gone all wibbly wobbly. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Did I kill you? Hey. Well, fine, you stay down there then. Oh never mind. Oh wait, there's other there's other doors in here. Oh wait, they may be, they might be blocked. Yeah, I think they're blocked. They're blocked. Lily! Yeah! There it is. Your patented walk on. That's okay. I'm always okay hearing it, because it means you're here, Lily, and that's always a plus. Walk-ons are really fantastic. I don't even, for a lot of them, I don't even have to, oh god, oh god, no, wait, hang on, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I didn't sign up for this party. Kicker. Let's 
pick this up and immediately use it. Oh, that was real close. I'm gonna use both of them. Need someone to vibe to depressing music with. If you want to join, DM me on Discord. Well, if anyone wants to vibe to some depressing music, hit up Brody on Discord. What uh, what kind of depressing music are we talking, Brody? So many first aid kits. I've got seven first aid kits. I haven't used a single one. Oh, uh, oh! This is a, a beautiful mural here under the battery. Oh wait, what is that? I was locked up inside the basement's basement. It was so small and dark, and I was so afraid. I dropped my precious ring, but I will never ever go back there. Hmm, the basement's basement. Oh, good, some bullets. We've been burning through a lot of bullets. Ooh, the descent. I've heard the descent is really good. Sad rap vibes. Okay, so I think we're going to the, unless, I guess we don't really need the stairwell anymore. We've got the elevator. I think we're going to the third floor. Which should be where Maria is, but who knows. She likes to teleport around. <gasps> Kay, how are you? What are you doing, Kay? Oh, I've heard, I've heard the descent is really good. I remember when it first came out, it was real popular. Hey, welcome back, Endgamer. I'm sorry to hear that you couldn't sleep. But, I mean, we can keep you company while you can't sleep. So that's always a plus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you just decide you're the stronger nurse? The zombie nurse? All the other ones take three bullets, you take four? Joseph Phillips Chilster? <laughs> <laughs> Neon Medusa! The one and only Neon Medusa! How are you? This is, your fa is this really your favorite horror game? It's pretty solid. And other than the times where I've missed really obvious things, we've been cruising pretty well. There are empty medicine bottles here. Is that what Maria was taking? Is Maria sick now too? Oh no, Maria's gone. Maria's not here. Where could she have gone? She probably teleported somewhere. She has a tendency to do that. Oh no, are you okay, Medusa? I'm sorry to hear that. I really hope everything's alright. I'm doing fantastic. I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Oh, I can imagine that. I mean, any time moving is is potentially really stressful. That's just a, a situation where you've got a lot that you have to get taken care of in a short period of time. Oh, hey! Oh, I owe you a redeemed stream loot pack for all. Oh, hell yeah. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for, for reminding me. I completely missed it. Let me get a let me get a link for everyone to get some stream loot. Here we go. Link incoming. Click that link. Get yourself some free stream loot courtesy of I owe you. Oh, you need to get a new desk. Oh no, is it is it just too big to transport Neon Medusa? I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, I was. I was distracted by the by the lovely, the lovely nurses of Silent Hill. 
Um, not not quite as lovely as they'll they'll become in later games, but still still very lovely. It's too big. Oh no! I'm so sorry to hear that. Look at that. That's <laughs> while we're playing games like that. That's legitimately kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anything's on the roof. Oh, it's locked. It's broken. Uh, I think there's other sections we can get to. But we didn't really explore this floor all the way. Hey! Oh, I, I understand. I mean, it's your desk, and even even if it's just a desk, it, I'm sure it has like sentimental attachment for just the fact that it's that it's yours. So I absolutely I don't blame you for for being a little bit sad that you're not going to get to take it. You're all done, watermelon guy. That's so awesome. Congrats. Definitely feel free to share the code in the Discord, and I'll check it out. Oh no, not the fucking spider. Mm. I looked over right as it popped up. I hate that one. Oh no. <laughs> did someone play... Wait, did somebody play two of them? Did somebody play them back to back? Lily! <laughs> you know how I feel about the spiders. <laughs> You're gonna head to bed? No worries, Nat. I hope you have a fantastic night. I hope you get a great night's sleep. Thank you so much Type for hanging underscore out. Orange underscore wants you to keep playing with your eyes closed yeah. for 10 seconds. Yeah, my eyes are closed. I think I've left the map. But I've all, I'm also pretty sure that I've killed everything around here. I should make that longer than 10 seconds. 10 seconds isn't very long compared to a lot of the cards. Oh, you played one spider and Lily played the other spider. There's too many spooters. I mean, that's that's a common card in the Spooktober pack. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow, Nat. Thank you so much. Tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow we're going to be starting Psychonauts. I'm real excited about that. Because I've been wanting to play that for a while. Oh, I'm at the wrong part. I'm going to just go to the special treatment room, see if we can get in there. I think they might be locked. Yeah. So I think we have to use the stairs to get to this other section of the second floor. <gasps> the K is here! The one and only K! K! Oh, oh no, we're going to the basement. Uh oh What is that? What, that's a... Oh no, that's in the gate. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I thought somebody played something. It's locked. Uh-oh, it's locked. Wait, it's locked. Really? Oh. I thought somebody played like a like a blurp or something. I didn't realize that freaking squealing was in the game. All right, so apparently we missed something because I can't get through here yet. It's something. It sounds like it, if it's a baby, then that baby is in trouble. Apparently, I missed something. We can't help the baby yet. The door is locked. I need a key. I don't have a key. I must have missed something up here. It's the it's it's the little jelly bean baby from PT. Just a lot earlier than PT. I guess the, if if the little jelly bean baby was in this game, then it would be the gel, jelly bean baby from Silent Hill 2, since this game came first. <laughs> I don't think that's what it is though. Well, okay, so 
Uh, oh, there's some rooms over here I didn't go in. That's probably where it is. This, this door here we went in. This one we did not try. Okay. Ah, here we go. Some bullets. She's got paper on the ground. Just some doodles. Huh? Something is written on it. She is an angel. No one knows only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins, she devours them, sin and sinner-like. She saves me. She is an angel. How about some punctuation, bud? get to the roof with the elevator there's definitely not anything else in here right does he look around at anything no you can always tell when there's something because he he looks down at whatever you're supposed to get Move up to the roof <laughs> He's coming in with the evil laughter. Did I explore everything here? I did, except there's... Oh! Oh no, I don't... I don't think we can get to that door. We can't open the fridge without Maria. My eyes! What about my eyes? didn't get any cards. What do you mean you didn't get any cards, watermelon guy? <laughs> you might just have to refresh your page. I thought that was in the game. I thought, I legitimately thought that was in the game. I feel that I don't like that one. <laughs> that one makes me nervous. <laughs> that one makes me no real nervous. <laughs> yeah, that one worked really well. I thought something I was like, what's going on? He's looking at. Wait, what's he looking at? Oh, there's some bullets. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, just some bullets. And we're just gonna have to retrace our steps and figure out where we missed the key. There's definitely a key. K1989K wasn't, wasn't expecting, expecting that. Ah, <laughs> uh, did you open your pack? Oh, it was right here. Oh. That's where we got the battery. I didn't realize there was something else there. You might have to you may not have opened your pack. Is there like a number one by your packs? Type Orange is thinking about those glizzies. Those hot and ready glizzies. 
Watermelon Guy 420 wants to influence an in-game decision. What? What in-game decision? No, I don't know if there's any in-game decisions. Yeah, if you picked one of the other sets, like if you picked a Spooktober one, you might have to tab over to the, the Spooktober set. That, that's not how that card works. <laughs> that card is to influence, uh, like, when we have to make a choice in a game. Like, when we're in a dialogue where it's like, oh, do you want to kill this character or do you want to keep him alive? He's got all the all the sound effect cards tonight. <laughs> it's it's definitely troubling. Wait, where is the oh the stairwell's right back there, okay. It's definitely very troubling. Let's save the game quick. Maybe. Oh look at those Bob Ross emotes. Yeah, we're going down with the, the the troubled little jelly bean baby. We'll just shelf here. Red handprints on the shelf. Yeah, move that shelf. And gamer ninety seven wants you to bring out bootleg Pikachu bootleg for the Pikachu. next five minutes. Bootleg Pikachu. Here we go, bootleg Pikachu. Getting ready for action. There, he, there he is, bootleg Pikachu. Hey, I'm bootleg Pikachu. What's up? What's up, everybody? I'm bootleg Pikachu. Your shoulders ache so much you may have gone hard swimming. Oh no. Oh no, you don't have any Advil, Lily. James. I'm so sorry. Marie. Oh, Maria. It's you. Yeah, that's his voice. I thought you were. Sorry. Type orange says anyway, mysterious message mysterious. Message mysterious message mysterious. Anyway, very mysterious. You, anyway? you don't sound very happy to see me. No, I'm happy. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to see I'm real happy. Now you can help me open the fridge upstairs. Dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. I don't even know you. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No. No, I just stay with me. Watermelon Guy 420 wants you to say the ghost's name three times. Supposed to take care Pyramid Head? Pyramid Head? Pyramid Head? So, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got she to didn't just her. run away. She locked us in a room with monsters and then you proceeded really to just fuck to off and leave us for dead. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to No, there's there's her. really not. <laughs> There's really not any ghosts in this. I mean, there's all kinds of weird monsters. Wait, can we go down here? Oh, here we go. Um, oh, what's that? We got the cop. Oh, this was the copper ring. Oh, this is the basement of the basement from that note. The ghost of Christmas past and Easter future. Oh yes, you found the bait found in the basement of the hospital. It's engraved with a picture of a sp no no why a picture of a spider? Uh, oh, now we can open the. Come on, Maria, we've got a fridge to open. Don't worry about the distressed baby. I don't know where it is. K nineteen eighty nine K redeem five free stream loot pack. Oh shit. Here you go, Kay.
Yeah, five packs on the way, Kay. Empress underscore Lily wants me to repeat the last redeemed instant activity card. Oh, do you want to repeat it for yourself or do you want to repeat it for Kay? That's the real question, Lily. Hot off the presses. Uh, we need the elevator. Okay, can have them. Okay. Okay, you get another five packs, courtesy of Lily. All right, we need the elevator, so we gotta go through that door. <gasps> Watermelon guy! Watermelon guy 420 has arrived in the chat. Watermelon guy! Welcome to the chat. Welcome on in. <laughs> oh, a pack for Lily, hell yeah. There you go, Lily. Oh, there we go. Mama Maria, I need your help opening this fridge. I need a mod? Why do I need a mod? I have Lily. Hi there, everybody! Thanks for tuning in! Oh, oh, are we on a game show? Another exciting edition of Trick or Treat! Here you either answer the questions correctly, game show. and win a great prize, or fail to answer correctly and receive the punishment. It all depends on you! And our lucky, or should I say, unlucky challenger today is James! James Sunderland! Lily, you're Are popular you tonight. To play trick or treat? We're playing trick or treat. Okay. We're on a game show. This is my favorite game show. Is home to a thrilling amusement park that both home. children and adults love. It's my favorite area in, is, in Seven Hill Three. What is the name of this amusement park? Oh. One, Fantasyland. No. Two, Silent Hill Amusement Probably. Park. Probably. Three. No, it's like Side Amusement, amusement park. park. Okay, quickly on to question what? number two. I didn't. Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. I didn't get the answer. Brother and sister were playing in the road. They were attacked and chopped into pieces oh. with an axe. Mm. Torn flesh, smashed bones, spattered mm. blood, and finally... What a terrible tragedy! <laughs> it really is. <laughs> such innocent lives. What, what kind of game show is this? Yeah, it was that guy. Two, Scott Fairbanks. No, I never heard Three, of him. Eric Gunn. Never heard of him either. Now, oh, I think he's an actual killer. Question. It's Walter South Sullivan. Lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Bay. From there to Paleville, the central resort area northwest of the lake, mm. there's only one road you can take. Just one road. Okay. No more. The third and final question is... You're not letting me answer. It's the name of that road. One. Road. Could be. Two. Rendell Street. Three. So. Nathan Abbott. I think it's Bachman. Well, that's the last of our questions. Yeah, you didn't let me answer. Got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your <gasps> prizes. But be careful. If you're wrong. <laughs> well then, everybody. Oh, we gotta go collect our prizes. Again. See you again sometime. Bye bye. We gotta go collect our prizes. Maria. Maria, we're gonna we're gonna get our prizes. I'm so excited. I'll pack for K. Hell yeah. What was that? 
Why would Sleepy just sent you a pack of stream loot? Why would Sleepy be mad at you? I don't I don't think Sleepy would send stream loot packs to someone that they're mad at. We gotta go get our prizes. Sorry, Maria. We'll open that fridge later. I gotta get my prizes first. Wait, I also wanna recheck. Am I in the brink of death? Possibly. Lily redeemed oh. a free stream loot pack. Oh, a free stream loot pack. Let's get a pack for Lily. There's a lot of stream loot out there right now. It's a little troubling. Why would why would anybody be mad at you, Kay? <laughs> I don't see any reason that anybody would be mad. Oh no, it is Nathan Ave. Oh, Watermelon Guy 420 thinks you would look better without glasses for the next five minutes. Okay, you picked the moment where I have to read something that's in tidy text. Yeah, it is, it is Nathan Av. Oops, I'm glad I left. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go get our prize. <coughs> no. Type Orange, nobody's mad at you. I don't think anybody could be mad at you, Type Orange. I don't think anybody could be mad at Kay either. Where is the storeroom? It's over there. So we gotta we gotta we gotta turn around. Go this way. Type underscore oh. orange underscore wants you to avoid boost pads for ten seconds. Oh okay, I'll avoid I'll, I promise I'll avoid boost pads for ten seconds, type orange. You have my word. In fact, just for you, I'll avoid boost pads for the rest of the game. For the rest of the game, no boost pads. Oh, here, here's our prizes. Oh no. Wait, do we have to... Question what? We have to remember the order. Uh... It was the third one, the first one, the second one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I better heal. Oh, we're using our first first aid kit. Get the banana! You need that potassium! Uh... Oh no, we fucked it up! You can only do it once! I fucked it up! I can't remember what order the answers were in. I thought it would tell me the questions. <gasps> Type orange! Oh, definitely! I can definitely play your game on stream sometime, Watermelon Guy. I haven't saved in a while though, Endgamer. I don't think it's a request. Wait, what do I get from that? I think I get like a fancy gun or something. Okay. Silent Hill to storeroom quiz. What do I get from that? If it's just like a gun or something, I'm not too concerned. Trick or treat box. Box contains. It just has some shotgun shells. Optional puzzle, and therefore, yeah, I'm just gonna... It's got some shotgun shells. I'll be okay. Who who needs shotgun shells? I don't need them. I don't need them. I know in my heart that I knew the answers. I just didn't know what order they went in. I'll be okay. I think the last time I saved was before we went down and got Maria, so it's been a little while. Maria, help me open this. That's the only reason I, I tracked you down. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How about, How's a how about girl just like me supposed to help? How about just do something for a change instead of just you know napping while I'm doing shit? 
Empress underscore Lily redeemed the free stream loot pack. Not very cute, is it? You it's, James. Not, it's not for you, you anyway. It's mine. Thanks. I got a ring. Well, I'm starting a whole ring collection. There you go, Lily. I'm starting a whole collection of rings. Nope. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them, though. Hmm. Was there somewhere that we needed rings? How bad is my vision? Pretty bad. <laughs> Pretty bad. Like, chat is very blurry. I have to lean really close to read chat. Also, my glasses are really dirty. But yeah, pretty pretty bad. There we go. Nice and clean. Gave you too many streamlets. No, Lily played another card to send you another one. Another set of five. And then somebody sleepy sent you one. Yeah, so the five you redeemed. Empress and then underscore Lily, Lily redeemed the free stream loot pack. And then Sleepy sent you one. There you go, Lily. Yeah, so Kay, you're swimming in stream loots right now. Can I combine? Oh. Well, I mean, I, I guess I have to figure out where. Engraved with a disgusting, bloated face. It's so disgusting. <gasps> Bo! Hell yeah, let me get you a pack of stream loot. Oh, two of them? Yeah, let me make sure there's not more. Three of them? Four of them? Five of them? Like five of them. Five of them. One, two, three, four, five. There you go, Bo. You got packs incoming. Five Spooktober packs. Very spooky packs. You're welcome, Bo. Thank you for hanging around. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a fantastic evening, my friend. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these rings. Other than look really stylish. So the first floor. Gifting to yourself so I don't have to uh, stop. Empress oh, underscore Lily redeemed the free stream loot pack. Wait, are you able to give yourself packs? I wasn't sure if you could. Oh wait, is he lo he's looking at? Is he looking at something? What's that sound? That happens every time we come in here. Is he just looking at Maria? Oh. James, come on, keep your eye on the prize. Why do things keep breaking when we walk? Is there just glass on the floor? Is that the sound of us walking through glass? It says like a window is shattering.
Empress underscore Lily redeemed the free stream loot pack. Yeah, this is the garden. It's a beautiful garden. Let me just say, they've really outdone themselves with the garden. Oh, Lily. Thank you. Oh, sorry, Maria. You got, you got my way. Just look, look, listen, Maria, stop staring at her. How am I supposed to count on your ability to look at things that I need to pick up if you keep staring at Maria? What is that? Whatever it is, it's when I interact with this bed. Oh, I could have taken bootleg Pikachu off a long time ago. <laughs> Whoever redeemed bootleg Pikachu got uh, some some bonus minutes in. Hmm. Nothing on this floor. Oh, the freaking spider! I saw it out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> I ate it. And Gamer97 wants you to bring out Bootleg oh, Pikachu bootleg for the next five minutes. Oh, okay. Here we go. Bootleg Pikachu's back. Long time no see, Bootleg Pikachu. Oh, it's 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 me. It's Bootleg Pikachu. I'm here. I'm here for the next five minutes. Maybe more. Because you seem to always forget to take me off. I'm here. I'm ready to party. Oh yeah, whack a zombie would be real cool. Uh, because it's kind of like it's kind of like a Halloween costume kind of thing. Hey, look, I'm bootleg Pikachu now. I don't know. It's just fun. <laughs> Is this the thing about the ring? Maybe put the ring. Yeah, this is it's like hey, we're all we're all dressed up for for Spooktober. I also have I also have the collection of masks that there's cards to redeem. Which we saw some of during the 12 hour stream. seem like anything here I don't remember needing the rings anywhere I don't know what they're for we also have a battery that I'm not 100% sure what it's for enough the hand part of the painting is actually 3d and sticks out 
Here you want you want some rings? The ring ring on the hand. Is that doing anything for you? Oh, there we go. I didn't notice that door last time. Oh. We're in a different stairwell now. What's that? So note on the ground inside is some kind of hard to read writing. I took the director's key. The one to the museum. I hid it behind the behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. I'm not. I swear, I'm not a criminal. I'm not. You gotta believe me. Oh, oh, this is the spooky. This is a spooky stairwell. I'm not. I'm not a criminal. I swear. I'm bootleg Pikachu. You wouldn't call me a criminal, would you? I'm just an innocent Pikachu. What's that? Uh oh. Oh! <gasps> our, our buff boyfriends found us! Marie, you better run faster. Maria, Maria has no, uh, has no will. Oh, oh god, oh god. Has no will to live. Oh no! Well, I told you to walk faster. You should have listened to me. This wouldn't have happened if you walked faster. I'm just saying, if she had walked faster, this wouldn't have happened. I'm not saying that it's anybody's fault. I'm just saying, if she had walked faster, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, I do like the the whack a zombie mini game. I like that mini game a lot, Watermelon Guy. Do so you think I think Pyramid Head was jealous? He was like, "I'm your buff boyfriend." Who's this floozy? Time for sad. The other sad music now. Let's be realistic though. Maria was kind of annoying. Stream loot pack for all? Hell yeah, let's get a stream loot pack for everybody, courtesy of Type Orange. There you go, everybody. Click that link. Get yourself a free stream loot pack. Only happy, only stream loot. How can you be sad when there's free stream loot? There's nothing to be sad about. She was using us, and that led her to her death. Yeah, she should have walked faster. I told her to walk faster. She didn't listen. Not my fault. Not my fault she didn't listen. There's an old book here about the history of Silent Hill. Oh, I guess we're not going to read it? Can we, can we read the book? Oh, okay. Well, thanks for the information. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. 
The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. Oh, a wrench. Oh, thank you for the wrench. Hmm. Okay. We're, oh, we're going to Gonzalez Mexican restaurant. And Rosewater Park. That sounds lovely. And also the Silent Hill Historical Society, apparently. We're, we're just going everywhere. I'm on my map. I got the hospital lobby key. Ooh. Wait, you got three of the same one? Oh no, Endgamer, I'm so sorry. That's weird. I've never seen someone get three of the same card. Yeah, free hospital key. Well, it's um it's it's the key to leave the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're when you're ready to check out and they're like, no, you can't leave unless you find the key. I'm gonna look around through these last couple rooms though, if I can get into them, in case there's some some ammo. I don't think I can get into any of these rooms though. They all look like they're non-functioning. Yeah. You know when when you're when you're trapped in the hospital when they just won't let you leave until you do a little scavenger hunt to find the key. You know, you all know what I'm talking about, right? I'm not the only one this has happened to, right? Yeah, well, in this hospital you don't have to submit your documents. You have to find the key. To let yourself out. Where's the exit? Here's the exit. Anything free is for me. 14 to 25 pay. What kind of what kind of documentation? That sounds like a full novel, okay? Yeah, well, I wasn't as impressed with them as I am with the ones from the movie. The ones from the movie really left an impression on me. I don't know what it is about them. I'm gonna find Mary. Why are you not reading these things? Why is this dialogue that you're not saying? Alright, we, we did it! We're out of the hospital! Now we have to go, I guess, Rosewater? No, I think we need the wrench. We need that wrench. So we need to get over the cats. Cat Street. Cats. The musical. The musical that never stops. Starring T Swift. I love T Swift. Oh, hey. Oh, no. The, the nurses have escaped. They've escaped into the city. I'm pretty sure those were nurses. Who set the nurses free? Don't they know they have to stay in the hospital until they find the key? They can't just roam the streets of Silent Hill. Oh, look at all these nurses. Oh, a pack for K. Hell yeah. Courtesy of Watermelon Guy. Let's get K a pack of stream loot. There you go, Kay. It's ladies' night on the town. <laughs> well, they, they look like they're having a real good time. What's that? Oh, there's something marked on that wall. Alright, 
so we gotta get to Cat Street. Cats. You're a lot easier to avoid when you're not in narrow corridors. In fact, out in the open, not much of anything in Silent Hill really frightens me. Because it's kind of like you can just run to the other side of the road from them. Well, well, can't go this way. Cats, the musical, the movie. The sensation that has taken the, the nation by storm. See it now. Before all the cats escape into the streets and start roaming around with crowbars. This is your last chance. Cats. Oh. This seems like a bad idea. Hmm. What we'll pack for watermelon guy? Hell yeah. Let's get watermelon guy a pack of stream loot. Courtesy of Type Orange. There you go, watermelon guy. Where are we? Oh. Um, according to this, this is a dead end. Unless it's lying to me. It's locked from this side, okay. Go to distance wants you to look up the following ghost story slash urban legend. Ooh. The Korean Toilet Ghost. Ooh, okay. Let's learn about the Korean Toilet Ghost. I'm excited. I'm going to go full screen for this. Let's learn about the Korean Toilet Ghost, because I've never heard of this one. Trixie! I am! I'm still streaming for another hour and 15 minutes. The Korean Toilet Ghost. The Korean Toilet Ghost. But is it... Is it the... The Toilet Goddess of Korean Mythology, Bo? Ch 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 Chukis? Chukasen? I don't know if that's it. That's what pop, that's a Wikipedia that pop, oh hey. It's a cool picture. Oh top five creepy Korean urban legends. The toilet here we go. The toilet ghost. <gasps> you have a link for me? Oh, thank you so much, Bo. That's very helpful. I think I found one too, but this one is specifically from you, so I'm gonna use this one. Ooh, ooh, Halloween, Halloween. The Toilet Ghost. This is one of the creepiest and scariest stories out there. There's a female ghost that hunts. I think it's supposed to be haunts. Haunts public toilets. Once in a while, a gruesome dead body is discovered in a public toilet. The body is cut open with all the organs spilled out while blood flows from it. According to the legend, when you visit a public toilet, just as you are about to squat down, a hand emerges from the bowl and gradually a woman's head springs out of the toilet bowl, dripping water. She smiles at you and shows you, the, shows you two rolls of toilet paper, a blue one and a red one. Then she asks you to choose one. If you choose the blue, she suffocates you to death, leaving your body blue. And if you choose the red, she cuts you open, leaving a pool of red blood gushing out of your body. She sounds nice. <laughs> where where can I meet her? <laughs> where can I meet her? <laughs> Wait, let's see how. So this was another article I found. This let's see how this one differs. 
For some reason, bathrooms are often backdrops to terror and horror movies. There is one common legend in Korea about a ghost that lives inside toilets, more commonly squat toilets. The ghost is said to emerge by sticking its hand out of the bowl while you're squatting down and ask you to choose between two toilet papers, red or blue. If you choose red, the ghost will cut you open and leave your body in full blood to blue suffocate you. Apparently, if you try to escape, the bathroom door will lock by itself and you'll be forced to choose between the two terrible death sentences. She sounds nice. Why are they not making movies about this? They just keep they just keep making the same the same franchises. Why is there not a Toilet Ghost movie? I want the Toilet Ghost movie. Who do I write? Who do I tweet at to get a Toilet Ghost movie? Um, uh, I don't know any directors. Nobody's popping into my head. <laughs> this could be Billy's first movie. Billy went to school for filmmaking. Billy, you're not here. You're at work. But Billy. I want a Toilet Ghost movie. Can we make Can we make this happen? I'll write the script, and you can direct. And I don't know. We'll get We'll, we'll get uh, folks from the community who wants to be in the Toilet Ghost movie. Raise your hand if you want to be in the Toilet Ghost movie. You made a movie once about a witch that would move your shoes at night. That's all. Just shoes. Just shoes. That's very inconvenient. I'm not okay with that. You You've all okay. K L B in the toilet. Kay, do you want to be the toilet ghost? <gasps> you went to school for film as well. <gasps> we'll make this like a collaborative effort. Well, Billy's not here, so you know what, Bo? <laughs> I didn't know that you went to school for filmmaking, so you know what? You're you're here. You're 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 more reliable cuz you're here. Don't tell Billy I said that. <laughs> not look like a bird why would what does that have to do with being the toilet ghost the picture of her looks like looks like the the girl from the ring i closed it the picture of her looked like the girl from the ring except she was climbing out of a toilet it was just like her head sticking over the rim it was kind of spoopy this needs to be a thing the toilet ghost movie it's gonna it's gonna be all the rage forget the conjuring forget annabelle forget uh uh, like all the other popular horror movie franchises, like the ones that they've made like 50 sequels of, The Toilet Ghost is going to be the next big thing in the horror genre. It's coming. It's coming at you. You gotta choose. Who- oh, here's- here's the real question. Here's the real question, chat. Which roll of toilet paper would you choose? Would you choose the blue suffocation toilet paper or the red getting sliced up toilet paper? Yeah, they made one about a, a wheel, a sentient wheel. Also, Kylie Teigen, the absolute legend. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Part of a friend's horror movie, I survived due to it getting scrapped. And my last scene being you escaping. <gasps> the triumph. You'd go with the blue. Hmm. I don't know which I'd go with. I mean, how is she going to suffocate me? That's the real question. <laughs> That's the that's the eternal question. How am I how am I gonna get suffocated? No, we're learning about the toilet ghost sleepy and we're planning to make a movie. You wanna be in our movie? You wanna be in the toilet ghost movie? <laughs> you just got home from work, hell yeah. I'm not no no, we uh we, we 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 broke away to learn about the toilet ghost because uh Bo played a card to learn about the, the Korean folk tales of the toilet ghost. But we're still playing. We're still playing Silent Hill 2. We're not done. We've got... we got another hour to go. We were just learning about the Toilet Ghost. And I like to... I like to really capture the essence of the Toilet Ghost by going full screen to read about it. Stream would pack for Sleepy! I'm excited. I'm excited for what's presumably going to be an award-winning motion picture that's going to take the entire world by storm. But we're not we're not just stopping with the United States and Canada. We're taking the whole world. Although I feel like maybe we should put it out in 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 Korea. <laughs> but I wonder if there's 
I wonder if there's a a Korean film about Toilet Ghost. Oh, there is. Oh wait, there's a scene. Oh, Toilet Horror Short Film. It doesn't look like there's a full motion picture. I think I think we're still we're still getting in on the ground level, Bo. Yeah, we're we're getting in on the ground level. There's a short there's a short indie film. They got nothing on us. They got nothing. The toilet no no the, we're getting in on the ground. This is gonna be the part one. We're taking it we're we're taking it national. Not national, international. They have taken an international. <laughs> You'll be the janitor who cleans up after the toilet goes, and you just walk in, and you're like, Oh, Susan, not again. How many times the toilet ghost is named Susan in my mind, so um just to clarify. <laughs> oh, Susan. It's Friday. I was excited to go home and have some some beers with the boys. But now I've got to stay late and clean up another dead body. Uh, we finished. We just finished the hospital. Maria just took a big old, a big old pyramid head cleaver to the chest, which I told her. I told her to walk faster. She didn't listen to me. That's what happens. We're on. Oh, this is Neely Street. I don't. We gotta get to. We gotta get to Lindsay Street. Actually, this is the way we wanna go. Keep going. This <laughs> gym is colorblind. It's post-apocalyptic. Oh, this is like Jason X. This is the Jason X equivalent of the of the Toilet Ghost franchise. And it's the toilet. It's it's in a space shuttle. Hang on, I went past, I went past Gonzalez Mexican restaurant. I forgot. We gotta go to Gonzalez. We gotta go pick up some, some delicious Mexican food. Here it is. That's, does that? Hello? Hello? Oh, uh-oh. Maybe we gotta use the back door. Uh oh. Um. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen Jason X. Uh oh. I've only seen. I think the the first. The first. Uh, Halloween and then the more recent one. Um. Uh oh. How do I? Told me to come here. The game wouldn't lie to me. Hmm. I mean, I was getting in a wrench here. Use like a window? Someone leave a window open for me? Look, this is it. This is Gonzalez. Gonzalez Mexican restaurant. I was told they have delicious food. How dare they be closed when I get here? 
Well, maybe I have to, like, get around the back. They survived through generations by touching both trolls and putting it up to the light. Oh, both rolls and putting it up to the light to see how the light comes through. Oh. Toilet Ghost offers duct tape or sandpaper. Which would you choose, Endgamer? Wait, so is this entire... Is this entire building? Gonzalo's Mexican restaurant? That's a really big restaurant. Excuse me. I'm just trying to get some Mexican food. Excuse me! I think I have to go around. Maybe there's like a way in from the back. Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, oh, here it is. It's not at Gonzalez. It's on some random front porch. Well, perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park, at the foot of the praying woman. Inside of the ground, inside of a box, to open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but nothing. I knew, but nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now, no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Oh, I hope they have mercy on my soul. Great-grandfather Timothy Charm worked at a toilet paper factory, and guess what? What? What happened to Timothy Charm? Is that is that the guy that made Charmin? Charmin toilet paper? The softest toilet paper of all, used even by by bears. This stream's really gone some places tonight. We've really been all oh oh oh, oh that's not good. That's not good. How am I supposed to get to the to the park? I gotta go all the way back. Oh. Why do these look like great? Why are there gravestones on this like on the road? Something is written on it. Too bad I can't read it because the surface has been rubbed away. Remains of blank swamp. The blankers of land surround blank. Blank is monument was originally swamp, but was later filled blank. Fro blank ing ago to blank s. <laughs> Nickname blood swamp because the blankers poured the watt blank. Blank said to wash the X blank holes in here. Perhaps it's faux blank hat many P blank mm to have set blank blank mm the area. Mm. This doesn't look like a swamp. May we go this way? This way? Oh! Excuse you. Parkouring off that building. Hey, ladies. I'm still, I'm still waiting to find out about great grandfather Timothy Charm. Kay, I'm in suspense. I'm on the edge of my seat.
don't mind if I do. Oh, look, a first aid kit. Seven Hill seems like it was a lovely, a lovely little town before shit just really hit the fan. Oh, hey, how you doing? Timothy worked there with Susan herself, and he caused her death. <gasps> Timothy! And she haunted him, but he made a deal with her. He created the Charmin brand, and she used that... Okay, uh, oh, hey. She used that as a vessel to enter everyone's house and play her wicked game. The door that wakes in darkness, opening into nightmares. Okay, I mean, there's monsters chasing me, so I'm... I'm not, I'm not particularly picky about what doors I use. Forgot to do it last time, but in celebration of playing Sign Hill, you posted a photo. <gasps> oh, Kylie, wait, I'm going to look at it right now. I'm excited. Because that sounds really cool. Where is, where'd you post it? Oh, aren't them. Whoa! That's so freaking cool, Kylie. Holy crap. That's like a hundred times cooler than I was expecting. I thought it was just gonna be like like the like his head or something or the helmet or something. That's so freaking cool. Holy crap. That's so cool. Where are we? Oh, we're on Cat Street. A Mortal Kombat one. Ooh. I'm, I haven't played too much Mortal Kombat, so that one might go over my head. I, uh, I never had Mortal Kombat as a kid. Welcome back, Trixie. The only thing you missed, Trixie, was our, uh, our, our discussion of our plans to make a movie based on the Korean Toilet Ghost. It's gonna star K and Endgamer as as Susan the Toilet Ghost and Endgamer is gonna be T Timothy who has made a deal with the Toilet Ghost to clean up all the bodies of the people who are killed there she is now. That's the toilet ghost. Speak of the devil. Twitch kicked you out. <gasps> Why would Twitch do it? I'll have to have a word with them. Susan took Timothy's sight, and all his family was cursed with being blind or colorblind. Well, I mean, even if you're colorblind, you still have to pick a role. It's, it's not going to change your fate when it comes to the toilet ghost. And Bo, Bo's going to direct it. I'm going to write the script and Bo's going to direct it. I'm really excited. I think I think we're really going to we're really going to go places after this. The sky is the limit for us. See, I don't think there's any water in this lake. Well, that doesn't look like water. So it helped them survive, Joe. Their blindness and lack of color, but it turned into a horrible curse because they're the only ones left alive and they have to choose every day. Well, even if they're colorblind and they choose, the, the toilet ghost isn't colorblind. Kylie, Kylie has purchased five packs. Kylie, thank you. And that's another five entries into the giveaway this Friday. Thank you so much, Kylie. I hope you got some good stuff in those packs. Where's the thing that I need to use the wrench on? Oh, I guess it's over there. Okay, apparently I missed it. What if you refuse to choose until someone else enters the bathroom? Oh, that's a good question. Kay, you seem like the expert on this. 
you seem like you've really you've really taken on this role wholeheartedly and you've really stepped into the shoes of the toilet ghost maybe it's like the what if what if in the process of choosing you called a friend to come to the bathroom and you're like I sacrifice them is this like the ring can you choose to sacrifice somebody else to save your own life cuz in the ring if you if you showed somebody else the the video you're able to save yourself that's how that whole bullshit loophole came in at the end where they were, they were like oh I'll show you if you show me at the same time and then it'll just negate the evil monster that's trying to murder us cuz that's totally how it's going to work I don't I've never seen the the Japanese version of the ring I'm holding up what what am I what am I holding up I just want to find the thing. Oh, apparently I missed it again. Am I in the circle? I am not in the circle. Am I now in the circle? Oh. You choose colorblind over blind. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't... I mean, colorblind isn't... Like, you, you, you don't not see every color. It's not like, oh, here. The statue. Victim of persecution by the Anne's. Jenny. Oh, there's a fucking spider I see it out of the corner of my eye. Lived with pride and honor. What happened here? She'll never be for... And Gamer97 says, hands up for five seconds. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm real sorry. <laughs> Aha! Oh, wait. The ground. Could there be something under? Yeah. Yep. James, I don't think you're actually digging. I think you're just waving your hands around like this over the top of that, that 2D texture. <gasps> we got a key. The old bronze key. What's that for? I'm guessing from the, the museum? The Seven Hill Historical Society. Wait to the director's office? I thought it was the key to the Historical Society. Hang on, let me look at it. Antique looking bronze key. It was hidden behind one of those statues lined up in the park. I'm going to try uh, the museum's right here. I thought the note said it was for the museum. It starts with like a zoomed in shot of someone on the phone. They're sweating and shaky, black and white. They're staring at a closed door, talking nervously on the phone, very nervously, and say, but, but Tracy, Tracy, have you, have you wiped your ass? Have you checked your butthole? 
Have you, Tracy? Tell me. And then the song kick. Can we get that guy? Oh, can we get that guy <laughs> that does the Have You Checked Your Butthole song? Can we get him to, to make the, the soundtrack for the movie? What do you think? Will he go along with that? <laughs> I don't know his I know he's he's on he's on TikTok. I don't I don't know his name. Dad would probably know. Oh no, there's a monster. I mean, where isn't there a monster in this place? <laughs> hey, look, there's a monster. I don't know, that's just, that, those are just lovely, the lovely Denzians of Silent Hill, I forgot. The lovely ladies of Silent Hill. Oh, hey, how you doing? Don't mind me, just passing through. Oh, stop it! I'm just passing through. Oh, God. I'm almost dead. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Something over there. Oh, come on, get away from there. Oh, these are stronger nurses. This is the night crew. The others were the day crew. Night crew is a lot buffer. Here we go. Use the old Bryant's key. The Silent Hill Historical Society. Can't wait to find out all about Silent Hill. If anyone didn't get their their free pack of stream loot for the day, there's the the link for your free daily Spooktober pack. You're done. I know having way too much fun. You're you're having way too much fun. Well, that's that's all the more reason to to not be done with it cuz having fun is very important. <gasps> a free Spooktober pack for Type Orange. Hell yeah. Let's get you a free pack. A free Spooktober pack. There you go, Type Orange. You got a pack headed your way. There's a photo of a deep, deep hole. What could this be? Photo of the director of the old Brookhaven Hospital. It looks like he was a famous person in town. Photo is hanging here. Brookhaven Hospital, 1880. Oh, wait, there's more. This hospital was built in response to a great plague that followed a wave of immigration to this area. It was originally little more than a shack, but it gradually grew and grew until it was filled with monstrosities. Because, you know, this is Silent Hill, and fucking everywhere is filled with monstrosities. There's nothing particularly special about this photograph. There's nothing useful written on them. Oh. 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 Well then, I didn't realize we were going to find the stairs to hell in the, the Silent Hill Historical Society, but here we are, descending, descending into the bowels. Here we go. <laughs> Who built these? How long did it take to build these? Imagine building a staircase this long. It's going straight down, like this is stone. They dug steps, like, into the earth. They must have some, some pretty solid technology. <laughs> Still 
going. It could be. It would still take a really long time and a lot of man hours to dig this far down. What kind of document is lying here? September 11th, 1820. Prisoner, num prisoner number C221. I can't read the rest. What is this? Wait, is this a prison? Is this an underground prison? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? In like, well, we already know there's some shit going on in Silent Hill. But what's really going on in Silent Hill? Is that something I can pick up? No? <laughs> They're keeping their prisoners deep underground. Oh. Oh, hello? Oh, you're a new creature. I think. Oh no, you're the guy from the beginning. Hey, stop. Come here. There's some more. There's some more painting. A painting of a is a painting is hanging here. Oh, wait. Crimson and white banquet for the gods. Hmm. I also really don't like that sound. Maybe it's a lab that was under a prison, using the prisoners for experiment. <gasps> what is that sound? I hate that sound. Death by skewering. An execution at the prison. Death by skewering or strangling. To choose his death is the prisoner's last taste of freedom. Oh, just like with the just with the Korean the Korean toilet ghost. See? That's your last freedom before the the Korean toilet ghost kills you. You get to select how you die. It's all coming for full circle. A photo is hanging here. Toluca Prison Camp. Built during the Civil War, later becoming Toluca Prison. Right, apparently this has been around since the Civil War. Can't imagine they were able to dig stairs that well, that far underground during the Civil War. So I'm guessing this is a newer part of the prison. Hey, how you doing, bud? Ah, there's nothing over here. Oh, what is this? The hole's dark and I can't see anything. Will you jump? Sure, why not? Why not? I feel, I feel like this is the wrong choice. <laughs> YOLO! YOLO! <laughs> Holy man, we're alive. <laughs> I thought we were dead. <laughs> hmm. Oh, now we're in the now now we're in in the well of of uh, Sadako. We're in the ring now. It's just a wall. It would be impossible to climb this. Hmm. It's just a wall. That's good. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't have a map of this area. Hmm. I don't know if that's in game or if that's some, somebody played. Oh, that was something somebody played. Okay. Uh. What do I do? Wait, what? Oh, this is different. Just this spot here feels different. Wonder if I can somehow break it. Where did where did the Enderman go? I don't know. But now I'm scared. Is there an Enderman down here with me? Uh Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I don't think our wooden sticks are doing the trick, but apparently it did. Ah. 
Did you know if you if you hit a brick wall with a wooden stick, you can uh, you can break all of these bricks off. Really strong, oh, real strong wooden stick. I'm gonna get my gun out. Oh, I'm running out of ammo. Interesting. Oh, what's wrong with my flashlight? Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Um. Uh oh. Can I use the key? You ran out of buns, so you made your chicken sandwich with garlic. Oh, that sounds fantastic, Trixie. Sure, I can't use that here. Maybe I got bunk the walls. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, maybe. Flashlight doesn't give me an option to combine. Neither does the neither does the battery. Oh wait, maybe I can use the battery on the door. Oh. Oh no! What is that? What are those terrible? Like they're not even. They're just like going back and forth. They're not. They don't have animation. They don't have anime. They're not scary if they don't have animation. They're just like shifting around. I think I got 10 first aid kits. Hint all in says long. Don't be breathing roaches on to it for ya. Good luck. Yeah, no, the, the vibrating roaches aren't, uh, aren't nearly as scary as, like, a vibe. The ones on the floor are a little unsettling. They move. I don't like them. They're also kicking my ass. I'd like to leave, please. Man, I don't understand what I'm supposed to... Get me out! Yeah, I get it. It's locked. Oh, there's code. I don't know the code. One, two, three. I wasn't informed of a code. Wait! I have not... I have not received a code. Is it on the key? Tis doubt which leadeth thee to purgatory. Uh, was I supposed to get a code? Have a great night, Jinto. Thank you so much for stopping by. You think I I would become best friends with the toilet ghost? What what makes you? The code is seven seven eight nine. Is that like an actual thing, or are you making that up? Seven, seven. There's only three digits. Oh, wait, there's... 
These three are lit up. One, two, seven. Oh. Okay. Apparently we just got the sixth sense and we were able to, you know, predict what the code was via glowing buttons. I wish Toilet Ghost, I wish Toilet Ghost was a part of every horror game. I mean, I feel like, I feel like none of these buttons have been used for a long time. This feels like somewhere that nobody's trapped. We jumped down a hole to get here. <laughs> it feels like nobody's been here in a long time. Oh, hey, how you doing? Uh. Oh, well. Apparently that was not the way. And then we're back in the well. Hey, how you doing? Did I come down here? Like, really, really? I can probably use the key. I can probably use the key on this. The spiral key. You followed a streamer, you want to chat, but then a message popped up saying you have to verify your phone number to chat. And I went to do it, it says error on my phone. I typed my old one, still didn't work. And then I went to ask on Discord. No one answers, so I have to leave the Discord and unfollow the stream. I'm sorry. I know I know some folks have been doing cuz that's like a new feature. The uh phone verification for uh like chatting. I don't have that set up. I know uh, I think Type Orange type, the first time I encountered it was on Type Orange's stream. I would say maybe try it again in a little while. Yeah, I have mine verified too. Oh no, what happened? How do you end up down here? Killing a person ain't no big deal. Oh. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. Hmm. What'd you, what did you kill? You, you killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What oh. do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh, yeah? Why not? Till now, I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie? I don't think I like Eddie. I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here, honest. I don't know if I anyway, believe that. I gotta run. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. Alone. Apparently, Eddie can take care of himself. Eddie? Eddie killed the man. Let him let him handle his shit. Maybe they're still working out the kinks in the in the verification system. That stinks that Hotline had an, had an issue with it. You don't have a phone number, and one of the streamers I like watching is using it. Ooh, that's the that's the thing that really sucks is because we know we know this is all like all this new verification stuff is because of all the all the the hate raids and the hate bots and all that stuff 
that's that's what happens when you have people who are doing stuff like that just just for the sake of pushing essentially pushing their 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 mindset and continuing to do so even once twitch tries to well not necessarily twitch but after it comes to light is it it ruins it for folks who use the platform and may not necessarily have a means of verifying themselves it it sucks for those folks that are like legitimately using twitch you always worry about putting up verifications turning people away but at the same time i want to be saying oh i don't i don't blame you i haven't so the thing with that is is it's not gonna stop the i haven't had any issues with like actual hate messages and stuff like that popping up it's not going to stop the follow bots because whether they're verified or not they can still follow your channel um that's why i haven't turned it on And I like the the same thing of as Endgamer. I don't want to lose getting to talk to Endgamer by turning it on. And I know there might be other folks that don't have the means of verifying. So I definitely don't want to lose those folks. Um, so I've kind of avoided turn. I they popped up in my email that it was a new feature. So I've kind of avoided turning it on for reasons like that. Stop the hate channels that actually try to join streams and discords and mess. Yeah, well, see, and that it's not going to stop them from joining discords because, like, the day I popped in to your stream and I had to verify, I was still able to watch your stream and see all your links and everything and everything in chat. I just couldn't physically type in chat. Yeah, the bot follows still happen, and I mean, if if a hate raid happens where it's like messages popping up, um, I imagine that emotes only chat is still one of the best ways. Yeah, Sari's fantastic. I love Sari. You heard me, Sari. I said it. I won't take it back, Sari. You can't make me. Hey, please don't punch me through the bars. I'm 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 weak and fragile. Tablet of the Gluttonous Pig. Oh, hey, what's in here? Oh, nothing. Hey, there are bullets. Bullets! Ooh. You got the wax doll. Looks are scattered all over the bed and floor. Wait. Black magic from the abyss. Resurrection of the dead. The chronicles of Agrippa. Manuscript of the iron rings. I guess I shouldn't worry about these too much. No, are you sure? These are different ones. On sacrifice and the art of demon summoning. Tome of the Seer, the Feast of the Succubi, the Fallen Angels of Mercy and Favor. I feel like we should be worried about these. I feel like they may they may have something to do with what's going on here. Yeah, I have I have many. I have many middle names, okay? Many. Nine to be exact. Please don't please don't keep coming. Sir, sir. Name all night. I don't wanna. I don't wanna out all my middle names. I like to keep people guessing. They all start with the letter J, though. You have the perfect ghost voice already. Ooh. 
We may need proof of that gay. We're gonna need an audition. Now it's unlocked. Oh. Um. Well. I don't have a map, so I'm just kind of wandering aimlessly. Well, fo I understand followers only. I can definitely see followers only. Are you going to send your edition? Oh, I'm excited. Wait. Jamie, Jahir, Jojo, J J Joshuana, Jeff, Jaffire, Jessitifer, Jessitifer, Jilson, Joseph, and ja Jack O' Lantern's definitely one of them. I'll confirm that one. Jack O' Lantern's definitely one of them. That's why I like Halloween so much, because my middle name is Jack O' Lantern. That's a map. <gasps> I got the map. <laughs> Documents on the desk. Yeah, you got one of them. That's one of the nine. It's like, it's like collecting the uh, the infinity stones. Except in this case, there's nine infinity stones, and they all start with the letter J. This is not good. I imagine that's not Jojo, it's Joju. <laughs> it's like bad Juju except Joju. Is that really? There's nothing in here? Wait, it says there's a door in there. What? Say what? Oh, oh, the door is the... I feel this is the door. Oh, look, another vib Vibrava. That's the second Vibrava tonight. Because I remember somebody commenting that that sounds like a brand of a vibrator. <gasps> the tablet of the seductress. There's a shower here, but it's broken. No water comes out. Oh, I guess we can't shower. Say what? Vibrava. You know, good old Vibrava. Hmm. Look at all these doors we haven't checked. We gotta change that. Oh, Endgamer, congrats on the Vibrava. I don't even know if that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> Oh, this tablet of the oppressor. Magazines here, nothing in particular interest. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why do we keep finding ourselves in these situations?
How do I get out of here? Oh. What? Did shooting the door work? in the menu are nice. <gasps> Ahoy! Ahoy, Kay! Oh, look at this beautiful, this beautiful drawing. I think I might have drawn this. 400, oh, that's, that's a number. 436 people at a recital. That's a lot of people. That's a number. Probably gonna need to know that. Oh, item get. Out. It sounds like someone's saying the churro. Hmm, that's a fire. Burning Man. Yep. Oh, see, this one was made by me. Woman in Flight. That's me. I'm, I'm the woman in flight. <laughs> oh, the fucking spider. Hmm, I still see it. What's this big? The churro? Oh, is it the church? Sir! Yeah, I reload my gun. Oh, no. Was it the churro? I thought they were saying the churro. They just really want some churros. It's Ghost Deadpool. It's not, I was wondering there was a door down here. Oh, it's over on the other side. Oh wait, this was the room I was in here already. Well, I was in here already, I think. There's some trying doors. What's this, what's this big beefy room? There's a, there's a really large room on the map. Oh no, this uh oh this is this is just the Dark Souls boss arena. You know something's gonna happen. You know something's gonna happen. Oh look at it. ancient pyramid heads, ancient beefcakes. The true. I mean, that would be my unfinished business. I give you blood to atone for the three sins. Is written on top of the painting. Beneath the painting are three square depressions. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. We gotta die before I got to finish this churro. You know, I can respect that. I would want, I would want to come back and finish my churro. I've never had a churro. That was the origin, <laughs> the origin of the churro. Uh oh. Do we do it? Do I do it? Oh. Did, did I do it? I don't know what I did. Somebody screamed. But this is the execution yard. 
in the three cent. Yeah, I did it. Now what do I do? Oh, I got a whore. What? 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 Why did I get a horseshoe? It was hanging on the door of the square. That's good. I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, I just got a horseshoe. All right, here you go. You solved the puzzle. We're so proud of you. Now you can you can raise some horse. This is your new life now. I'm gonna need it for for raising my new horse children. Decided I'm I'm now a horse father. I'm an actual horse. I'm not a pretender. That's right, I'm throwing shade. Horseshoe belongs to the to Bander, the horse that traveled across country for years distributing churros. Oh! Well, he didn't bring me any stinking churros. Where's my churro? Why does it say that I played for 391 hours? I must have left the game on after last stream. <laughs> I've played 391 hours of, of Silent Hill 2. Are you all proud of me? I have now decided to dedicate my life to this one singular 12-hour game. I'm just going to play it for hundreds of hours. Make sure I examine every single possible texture. I guess we may go up there. I want a churro. I'll take, I'll steal that freaking ghost churro. I don't care. He can fight me. See if I care. I'm not afraid of him. I'm not afraid. I ain't, I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> Tater. Tater, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, Raiders. How's everyone doing this fine, fine evening? Welcome, Tater. How was your stream? Welcome. Simply red. Oh, no. What, what was happening in that clip? Oh, no. It was good. Hell, yeah. Tater Taterade. The bird, welcome on in. How you doing, my friend? So good to have everyone here. We are we're we're in the midst of Silent Hill 2. We're we're getting we're getting toward the later portion of the game now. Um, we're in the underground prison that doesn't make a whole lot of sense in terms of uh, how far down they built it. One of your viewers dared you to eat a peanut butter mayo sandwich. Ooh. Ooh, is it really that bad? I can't say that I've ever had peanut butter and mayo together. Although, I I will be partaking in a, a ranch dressing flavored soda during a 24-hour stream that I have coming up 
in a couple weeks for Halloween. I have to. I have got to remind myself. I have to order that soda. Oh, you hate mayo. Oh, that's a different story. Then I'm not mayo's okay in small quantities. I don't like a lot of it. It's overpowering. Yeah, there's a there's a churro ghost on the loose, and I'm trying to find their missing churro to return it to them, so that they won't be so angy. Mmm, chili. <gasps> Tater, honey. thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it. You wanted to bring the raid over to someone playing the same. Oh, were you playing? You were playing Silent Hill two also. How uh, how far along in the game were you? That's awesome. It's a it's a real solid throwback horror game. It some aspects of it have definitely not aged as well as I remember from when I initially played it years and years ago when it first came. Well, not necessarily when it first came out, but. Oh, you've never done a full playthrough. Oh, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a real good time. It's definitely a solid game. Oh hell yeah, we're uh, we're doing a whole month, a whole month of horror games over this way for October. We do horror games on and off throughout the year too, but this month in particular, we're doing exclusively horror games. Tuluk Lake, the town's main tourist attraction. This clear, beautiful lake has another side as well. It may seem like just a typical ghost story that you might find in any number of old towns across the country, kind of like the Korean toilet ghost, which we uh, we, we went on a venture and read a little bit about the Korean toilet ghost a little while ago. Give you a rough idea of where I'm at. Oh, you're in the ho Okay, we just finished the hospital not too long ago, so we're, we're a tiny bit further ahead of you. You're doing that this month too? Hell yeah! Oh, I'm gonna definitely throw a follow back your way after I wrap up tonight, and I'll be popping on in because I love me some horror games. I really like horror games. Well, I mean, I'm a, I'm a horror writer. I'm, I write a lot of horror fiction, so I've always been a big fan of, of the genre. I mean, I play Bendy in the Ink Machine. Uh, I've personally played Bendy in the Ink Machine before. I can definitely add it to the lineup for this month if you enjoy that game, Anna. You got Silent Hill 2 and 3 lined up, and some others as well. Ooh, 3 is my personal favorite in the Silent Hill franchise. Oh, hell yeah, Anna. Thank you so much. I'm real excited to check out some, some of Tater's streams. You're a wimp when it comes to playing horror. The cool thing about Twitch is, and Gamer, that you can you can just live vicariously through us as we get either scared or not. I don't, I don't get too terribly scared. I find them more intriguing than I do scary. On a fogbound November day in 1918, the little Baroness, a ship filled with tourists, failed to return to port. Newspaper, oh, this is how the people died. From back then, simply says, most likely sunk for some reason despite an extensive police search. Not a single fragment of the ship nor any of the 14. No, this is not how all the people died in the lake. In 1939, an even stranger incident occurred. There are many pages torn out. Many corpses rest at the bottom of this lake. Their bony hands reach up toward the boats that pass o overhead. Perhaps they reach for their comrades. Hmm. How'd they get there? I still want to know how they got there. <laughs> oh, I haven't played. I do have We Happy Few. I haven't played that one yet. We. Uh, I don't. I don't know that we'll get to all of these games this month because we already have quite a few lined up. But I mean, there's nothing to stop us from playing horror games all throughout the year. You're starting to become more immune. I'm very immune to horror games. I find them more intriguing than scary, with the exception of, of VR games. VR horror games really get me. There's just something about actually being feeling like you're in that setting that just takes it to a whole different level. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's the wrong button. My thing with horror games is I have to be able to defend myself. Uh, for example, Silent Hill or Resident Evil as opposed to run, hide, or die a la Outlast. Oh, Amnesia. I haven't played Amnesia. Amnesia is one that I might check out. And it borderline triggers. Oh, really? Oh, no. We, uh, we played Outlast last year for Spooktober. So Outlast 2 is a possibility this year. The 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 DLC for Outlast really messed with me cuz it was really fucked up. 
The newest Amnesia actually is on the Humble Choice. Ooh. I might have to check that out. I have the, the collection on PS4 that has, um, I think it's like Amnesia and the second one, A Feast for Pigs. I don't have the new one. I also have Soma on there, which I haven't played yet. I, uh, I pick up a lot of games when they're on sale, and I just kind of hoard them. Well, okay. Oh, am I out of, I'm out of ammo for the game, though. Good thing we got a new guy. Actually, I'll probably save that and use the shoddy. But I've got 54 rounds for the shotgun. Stop. Is he dead? He's dead, okay. Oh, I'm almost dead. Oh, Layers of Fear is fantastic. I love Layers of Fear. That's one that's probably my all time favorite horror game. The newest damn uh oh the humble choice. I'll have to take a look at that because I haven't picked up the new one yet. They resort to using diapers so that they don't have to use the restroom. Wait, who who are we talking about, okay? Are, are, we, are we still talking about the churro ghost? Can't do anything with jump scares as my body reacts faster than my head when it comes to things coming toward me. Oh, we played... Well, I think Endgamer, were you here at all for us? I played through Five Nights at Freddy's for the first time um, last weekend. And we made it all the way up to the end, and like none of the jump scares got me. <laughs> There's a shortage of diapers, and all the senior citizens are pit. Wait, are you? Th oh, the toilet ghost. Oh, we're back to the toilet ghost. Okay. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Why are we talking about diapers? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> I was so confused. Wait, can we get in that little closet in there? Oh, 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 speaking of the toilet ghost, Kay, we've made it. Here it is, it all comes full circle. There's even a save here over the urinal. This is it, we've made it. these bathrooms we can explore, okay? Uh oh, toilet ghost is in there. I felt like Big Dumb, I got killed by Pyramid Head three times in the first boss fight before I realized I can just... I, I wasted a ton of ammo on him because I forgot all... Of, well, I thought you just had to out outlive like his, his attack cycle, but it seemed like it was going on for too long. So I was like, oh, well, maybe you have to attack him a certain number of times. I haven't played this game in probably like 10 years. So I wasted a bunch of ammo because I just kept shooting them to see if it was just a matter of you had to lay in so many hits to trigger him leaving. So I ended up wasting a ton of ammo. I'm sorry. <laughs> I left before you could scare me. You want to do it again? No? I'm sorry. I was already locked into the leaving. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, You doing okay in there? You need help? It's time for you to head to bed. No worries, Type Orange. I hope you have a fantastic night, my friend. Thank you so much for popping on in and hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. I hope you get the best night's sleep possible. It was taco night. <laughs> I think every night is taco night in Silent Hill. That's why everything looks like this. Why are there so many bathrooms? Is this just a whole hallway of bathrooms?
Maybe this is just a whole hallway of bathrooms. Where did I go? I went backwards. No, never mind. That's the same bathroom. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I don't think I can get to those other doors. There you go. Oh. Hello. There's a cover on the ground, but I can't open it. There's only a depression left. There's probably once a handle. Hmm. I wonder if I have something that might double as a handle. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wait, maybe I have to combine it with something. Combine. Uh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, that was a really weird MacGyver situation. <laughs> Let me just combine the horseshoe, the wax doll, and the lighter. Just combine everything. <laughs> then we just jump in. Alright. Here we go. James does not give a shit anymore. He's just like, yeah, I'm getting to the bottom of this, literally. Even if I break my ankles in the process. Is that one guy from Broncos Modern Life? <laughs> a bathroom specialist. Yeah, I'm a guy right now. Where's the gum? Well, I had I had a wax doll, a lighter, and a horseshoe. So instead of a instead of gum and a paperclip, I had a horseshoe and some a wax doll. Did that just move, or was it only my imagination? Well, look at him. The corpses smell nauseatingly of rotten flesh. Oh. Yeah, it was fantastic to meet you, Tater. Thank you so much again for that raid. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic evening yourself. I hope you get to relax a little bit after this. I'll definitely be swinging on by to check out one of your future streams, and I'm really excited to see what you've got going on over there as far as horror games go, because that's what it's all about this month. This is the spookiest month of the year, and we're all about it. Well, here's a... James, don't get too excited. Don't get to it. There's another hall for you to jump down. Don't get too excited, James. Contain yourself. All right, here we go. I don't know. Jump down and find out. You seem to really enjoy this now. At the first one, you kind of hesitated. Now you're just like, yeah, I don't care. No, the camera situations are not good. Because I have no, you have no control. This is like, it, it's like Resident Evil, or classic Resident Evil cameras. Oh, oh my god, James, it's your lucky day. <laughs> this is absolutely your lucky day, James. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. You did the others like a champ. Have I channeled my inner churro? Um, I'm, I am my inner churro. I, there's no inner churro. It's it's all outer churro for me. <laughs> they should have. They should retitle this Silent Holes. Where even are we? How do we keep jumping down? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna end up at the like the center of the earth. Oh, good. We found an elevator down here. I'm really I'm really questioning. Oh. Uh-oh. Here, pick up that first aid kit. I'm really questioning. Oh, we're going deeper. Oh, we're going deeper. <laughs> I'm really questioning the, uh, the, the structure of this underground facility that just keeps going down. <laughs> How did they build this? You're lost. What, uh, what, 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 what part are you lost at, Kay? Like, we can try and fill you in. That way, you can be found. We want to...
want to make sure that you're found, okay? Although, no promises, because um, we just keep going down. I don't... I'm not 100% sure on the... on, on the, the potential for the... <laughs> the accuracy of how deep we've, we've traveled down into the Earth. This is like some, some Doctor Who TARDIS shit. We've hit 2 a.m., so my previous day was all right, and the day coming up should be good as well. Well, for Anna, it's it's already the day coming up. Anna's in the future. And then there's just, like, regular walls down here. Like, oh, we've yeah, we built... This is our underground uh, financial advisory office. Uh, we built it 80 miles underground. We just thought, you know, if nobody can find it, we won't actually have to do any work. We have... Wait, we have a knife. Use the knife. Oh, okay. There's ladders going down even further. Head can this uses the deem the doom demon magic to make the elevator go down forever. <laughs> Something's going on. <laughs> hey, how's everyone doing? ladders. Oh, there's ladders everywhere. It's all down from here. How are we gonna get back up? We're trying to- oh, uh-oh. We're trying to get to the lake. Uh, oh. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not even gonna ask. Oh, Bo. Bo, how do you feel about this camera angle? You like this one, Bo? This is a good one. This one's solid. They really put some thought into this one. They're like, nah, put the camera above the fan. We want to really show off the physics of that fan. We want to make sure that the, the gamer knows that there's a fan. And the only possible way to do that... Oh, it's gone. Oh, I ruined it. <laughs> I ruined it by moving. <laughs> if they don't know there's a fan... Oh, we're drawing our own map now. Oh, this is nice. Why couldn't we do that in other areas earlier? <gasps> I got the great knife. Massive weapon wielded by pyramid. What? 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 Excuse me? Oh my god. <laughs> That's not, James, that's not going to do any damage. You're swinging it too slow. You're not getting enough momentum. That's not even going to hurt anything. You might as well just be hitting them with the blunt side. Okay, I'm going to try it. Hey, let me put it... I'm sure, as long as it's in my inventory, I'm sure it'll be fine. I can carry it as long as it's not, it's not in my hand. Like, I don't know where I'm keeping it. If I've got, like, really large pockets in these jeans. Where do I have that? Also, where do I have the three other guns that I'm carrying around? Oh, here you go, Bo. In case you wanted to see it just once more.
And I suspect I'm going to be able to use that to cut through these wires back here. Maybe. If I can even swing it. <laughs> well, that's that's the power of cargo shorts, baby. <laughs> you stick anything in there. You got you got like a like a cloud buster sword. You just shove it right down down bottom of your cargo short pot. Wait, where was that door that had the wire across it? There it is. I assume this is what this is for. There's no way this is for combat. Oh, is it not? <laughs> yeah, use the... Why was I given this? What is the point of this? Other than to be absolutely ridiculous. Well, I guess I thought I figured that was what it was for. I'm gonna put that away so I can move faster than a snail's pace. <laughs> it's for you, you want the giant butcher's knife? Let's see how this one goes. <laughs> it's my Zanpakuto. What is this thing? Oh. I have questions. I have so many questions. Question number one. What is this thing? <laughs> Question number two. What do I do? I mean, there's only so many combinations. to go uh i don't know like i haven't received I, i'm probably was supposed to get a clue as to what i'm supposed to do with this thing and i've probably not gotten it yet <laughs> and there's not there's not a ton of possibilities wait can you flip it oh, well, not that way Make like the red eyes. How do I make the red eyes turn blue? Also, how do you know this? Have you played Silent Hill 2 before, Kay? <laughs> I had I had concerns, Kay. <laughs> I had a feeling that might be the case. Oh! 
Oh, excuse me. He's just chilling down here. Sir. I don't think I can. Am I going in a circle? Oh yeah, I'm going in a circle. So this just goes in a circle. Why is he down there? Oh, can I kill him with the big... Can I kill him with the... Oh, I better heal. Can I kill him with his sword? <laughs> Here we go. This is going to be the most epic battle of all time. Where, where are you at, Pyramid Head? I'm coming for you. Oh, Bo, thank you for the 100 biddies. Where is he? Oh, Pyramid Head, wait until you see the size of my sword. I'm very scared of going across these grates because I can't run with this sword. And I think these guys will, like, punch me from below the graves. Oh, maybe not. Pyramid Head, where you at? Where is he? Where'd he go? Wait. Something's moving. Where is he at? Sir! You can't really spin with it. Look, I can spin, I can swing it faster when I just spin around. Why don't I just do this to swing it? Where'd he go? Did he leave? Was he, was he even supposed to be down here? I don't even know if he was supposed to be down here. Did it like... Did the game like glitch out and just... Stick Pyramid Head down here with me? He's gone. I'm pretty sure we've done a full cycle. Gone. I already went. I have no idea where he went. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> hey, potentially win 50 stream loot packs. So, we're doing a giveaway all month. I'll be giving away 50 stream loot packs at the end of every week. Um, and any, uh, any pack of stream loot that you purchase through the site. Uh, will count as one entry into the contest. So not channel point redemption packs, but actual packs via the stream loot site. Um, no matter how many you buy, if you buy just one dollar pack, you're entered to win. But um, as many, however many packs you buy, that's how many entries you get into the giveaway. <laughs> they played. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could be like charge up my my spin and then just launch myself at him i don't know if he was supposed to be down there i don't remember him down there i think i'm supposed to do something with that with that head Unless I see him, I'm putting this away. Because I'm going to die. The things under me are hitting me. Wait, does this just go? Yeah, this just go back. goes back up. There has to be something. That's 
exit. This is the door that goes to the room where we got, apparently got his sword. Yeah, the one with the fantastic camera angle. Oh, he is here. Hey. Oh, he's got a spear. Well, it's because I have his sword. He's like, give me my fucking sword back. I'm pissed. Yeah, come here. Come on. Come try me. Oh, he's got a spear. Oh. How am I supposed to sweep with? <laughs> come here. It doesn't work. He didn't give a shit. <laughs> he didn't care. <laughs> retreat. <laughs> Tactical retreat. I don't know if they're- I'm pretty sure it's just a circle. I don't think it's anything past them. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die doing stupid shit. Yeah, it's just a circle. Um... Uh... I mean, there's whatever the heads were. Although, I should be wrapping up. Uh, you, you can't you can't kill him. <laughs> Imagine we get something to cut these, which is not a giant butcher's knife. We have to do something with the heads. But um, I'm gonna save here. And this is where <laughs> this is where we're gonna wrap up for the evening. <laughs> We've had our fun. We got our giant butcher's knife and. Yeah, let's let's take a. Oh, I opened the map. That's the wrong button. Let's uh, let's take a little gander. Let's take a little gander at our our new ultimate weapon. One last time, before we call it an evening. Here it is. Look at it. Nope. It's beautiful. No. Why not? You don't want to look at our our big beefy weapon, K. You refuse. Why do you refuse? Look at us. We we got them spins. Look at these spins. Who else can spin like this? You refuse me leaving. Oh no, but K. Okay. <laughs> We've had our fun. We've had our fun. It's that time. <laughs> it's that time. The time that we all dread. I don't know why this transition doesn't work right. It's the time that we all dread. The time when I end the stream. I know, it's so sad. Don't cry. Don't anybody cry. We'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow. We're going to start playing Psychonauts tomorrow. Which I'm really excited about. I'm really excited to play Psychonauts. We'll, we'll jump back in to more Silent Hill 2 next week. I'm watching the captions. For some reason, the captions picked up Silent Hill as Morristown Hill. Okay. You know, Morristown's just as good as Silent Hill. Why not? Why not? Sometimes it's just like to watch the captions and see how badly they understand me. Why don't they understand me? <laughs> Come on, captions. Why don't you understand me? <laughs> Maurice Town <laughs> Silent Maurice Town Maurice, why are you so silent? <laughs> Kylie Teagan, thank you so much for hanging out I really appreciate it And thank you for purchasing those packs earlier Summer camp tomorrow with Rats Wait, Raz? Raz Pew I thought you were said Rats Punzel <laughs> My mind immediately went to Ratzel with Rasputin. So, wait, is that something about Psychonauts? I don't know anything about Psychonauts. I've never played it. Speak up, Maurice. We can't hear you. We can't hear you back here. I'm already half dead, Maurice. You need to You need to open your mouth. <laughs> Alright, let us... Oh, Kay. I'm so glad that you understand me. That makes me feel understood. Thank you, Kay. That means so much to me. I'm gonna hop on Twitch. We're gonna see who's streaming. If anyone has any recommendations of any friends of theirs that might be live right now, definitely let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to take a peek and see who's live. Oh, we got Abby. We have been raiding Abby a lot. 
Um, Saint of Salem. The Grim Orange we haven't raided in a little bit. You recommend I stay on? But Kay, it's almost 3 a.m. It's almost 3 a.m., Kay. You wanna raid Kay? We can raid Katie. We can raid Katie. Main character is Raz, short for Raz Putin, and he goes to Psychic Summer. Oh, that sounds really cool. I'm really excited. I don't know anything about it. This is I'm going in. I'm gonna be going in completely blind. I'm pretty sure it's like a like a, a platformer kind of game, but other than that, I'm going in almost completely blind. So yeah, it's gonna be real interesting, and I'm excited because if we if I enjoy the the first one, we're gonna play the second one at some point soon too. Because they're both they're both on the the Xbox Game Pass, so they're both they're both free for, on Game Pass, so we can we can tackle both of them. Which, from what I understand, the second one's only been out a little while, so I'm excited. I'm really excited. Anyway, on that note, we are gonna call it an evening here. Sorry, Kay. Um, it's been a lot of fun. This has been a ton of fun. I'm glad everybody's vibing and enjoying some Silent Hill action and some Spooktober action because I'm really excited about the month. We're, we'll be moving on to day six of Spooktober tomorrow. Also, don't forget that uh, chat writes a story. Halloween edition is happening next week on the 14th. There's already cards. I've already put the cards for the chat writes a story back in to the main, not the Spooktober deck, the main stream loot deck. So start saving up your chat rates of story cards to be able to influence the story there's a limited number of them yeah okay i don't know were you here for chat rates of story last time the the story is on discord we did a, a community challenge for a chat rates of story where where chat wrote a story it was a beautiful story about the love of M miyazaki and mr walmart sleepy got his head bitten off a lot of stuff happened. The full the full story is uh, is in the Discord. You saw it on Twitch. Oh hell yeah! But yeah, we're well, we're having another one next week. Um, the cards are in the in the main deck. The ones that like influence the uh, like the different things in the story, like changing changing different things in the story if you have the card. So you can start stocking up on those cards now. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be on the 14th, which is the second thing from the last month's subathon that we... Well, not technically the fourth thing, because it was the, the emotes, the stream loot deck, the 12-hour stream, and now chat rates a story. So we've we've achieved a great many things because we had such a fantastic subathon last month, which I'm still blown away. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. Um... I'm gonna go though. I'm gonna hop off. I'm gonna start the raid countdown. We're gonna raid Katie. Uh, I think it's a Wednesday, next Wednesday. I'm sorry, next Thursday. Next Thursday. Wait, is it the 14th? I thought it was on a Wednesday. It's October. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, it's a Thursday. Thursday, October 14th. And then the following Wednesday, October 22nd, is the Drunkborn stream. So next week it's on Thursday. Thursday, October 14th. The creator of Walmart and Sam's Club was named Sam Walton. He named both his stores after himself. I can believe it. I can believe it. I mean, there's a lot of companies that just name their businesses after themselves or after their family or after like a kid of theirs or something like that. So I'm not surprised. I wouldn't have been surprised if he was Mr. Walmart. <laughs> Anyway, Raid Countdown is a going. It's running up. Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. I will see you all right back here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern time for some Psychonauts. We're going to have a good night. We're going to have a good evening tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. See you then, everyone. Have a great night. <laughs>